and we are buying on time here to what? Where's it fucking coming for? Oh, there is a tiny, a tiny, tiny, tiny wee gap with the with the old Monday tiny, and it's bouncing off the mirror out there. So it's it's fine. Everything's fine. But forget about that. How are you here today? How are you here tomorrow? Uh, here this Thursday today? Try to make a um, a TikTok this morning, but it wasn't as good as what I, th I thought it might be. So I bend it. Um, I, I need to be more focused. I need to be more focused because I've been watching. Lynn's been showing me these these guys that keep doing the same fucking thing again and again. Sort of got tons of tattoos. They all did that. So I've been thinking about doing something like that. So I was doing something and, you know, I did a wee thing where um, I sort of did a wee sort of, you know, punch to the camera and then with it, that transition, uh, then I suddenly got uh, Bobby there. But it was meaningless. It was meaningless. It didn't have any... Um, it, it, it was... It, it was an element... No cat punch videos. No, no, I go, I go like that to the... Um, and then Bobby's out because of the transition. Like, you know, obviously I can cut I can cut there with the first shot and then, like, cut. Like, transition, obviously. Um, but it was meaningless. It was an element. An element of an idea. An element. It was one part of some bigger idea and I don't know what that idea is. Just firing about... Nice shot. It's unironed and it's lost its colour. TikTok is meaningless. No, I don't mean... Um, it's too trivial and it needs to be very, very serious because this is TikTok, you see, and that's TikTok, isn't it? It's a very serious platform. I'm serious about comedy. So don't, I don't want to just... Uh, oh, sorry, Marbles is on, by the way. I don't want to just... Uh, just, just thinking, just want to come up with some good wee things, funny wee things, shite things. I'm a professional streamer. Really, really good. Very, very good. So, I'll have a think. There's always so much you can do. What's so much you can do? You know, I wonder if I can do... I'll have a think about it. See what comes to me. Ring number. Um, so have a think, but the because I, I like to think about these things. I don't like things to be a failure. So I like to have a wee think about um, what is it I want to do. Uh, I, I, you know, I like to have a think about what what is it I want to do. Make up one daft wee thing after another, after another, after another, after another, after another, like I did with Vine, and that, that went well. Or, um, without too much of a fear of it being a wee bit shite, just another one, another one, another one. Like every day. Day something, day anything. Every day. Day something. 
Det er anden. Hvad er det? Ino Andersen. That means it's low effort. Low effort. Don't have a lot of time to to, to think about it and go. No, just give me another few days. I'm going to come up with a better idea. With the with the risk being, you know the risk, the, the fucking certainty that it won't be as good as say something else I could put a wee bit more effort into. But at least I can hide behind in my mind the fact I'm doing um well I'm doing like one at least one a day. Do you know what I mean? It's like um Do you know what I'm saying? I can't I can't even see the fucking chat right now. Cause at the end of the day I'm just wanting to have a bit of fucking fun. I like seeing the numbers grow, but um, it's no everything because it's no what I want to get big on. Don't want to get big on fucking TikTok. I want to knock it back, but I'm not like that. I really need to make it. Really need to make it in TikTok. I'm no. This is where this is where I want to make it big. And already have made it big. This is just the exact right number of people here today. That's a fucking belter. Higher or lower than a three, the only card lower than this is a two. Gamble your channel points right now. Will the next card be higher or lower? Um, Fer, uh, Ferd Colenzo. Could that have Frankie Valley? Miming Blam, please. Scumbernold, Mr. L. King, Overwill thinks the subs. I'm going to pay the mortgage. People of the Sun, Katsu Killer, Willoughby by Warner thinks the subs. The blam's been taken, by the way. Normally catching VODs from Vancouver, so rare to get in some of this hot chat action. Hello there. Crossy, hope your day's mediocre. Thank you very fucking much. Jambon Steel, Gold Nose Baldy, Callis Harren, Jer Jerrymund, Make It Green. Have you been to Pepper Pig World? I don't give a fuck about a Boris Johnson fucking shite. Make It Great, Thunder Jim, Fantastic Ewan, Bryzer, Mr. Art Carnold, Indigo Wolf, Jambo, Desire Lines, Blam Blam, Blim Blam, Thanks to Subs and Bits. My any advice for working with people who are horrible bastards? Working at my job is getting me down as I'm beneath them in rank, so I'm a bit fucked. Um, I don't really know. I don't really know. Just see if you can get another job, if possible. Make sure you don't shut this door until that other door's open, or that type of thing. I don't really know. I've not got a lot of advice when it comes to jobs. I've not had many. Gateweave thinks the sub. Am I going to need a TikTok account now? I don't think so. I think you can just, you can watch videos without needing that. Finno boy. I'm glad the Helen has stayed around as long as I have. Thank you very much. Rabbit setting cheese fist. The Mimmoth 5G provider. If you could do any TV ad, what would it be? Ferrero Rocher. Jordan and Raj thinks the subs. Delete your TikTok ASAP. Hendrix thinks for the sub. It's my old man's birthday the weekend. Can I get a happy birthday, Alan, please? Alan, happy birthday, mate. If this is lower than a three, a lot of yous, a number of yous that went lower are going to win fucking huge. 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 Close. Close. Only 8% went lower. Smokey Shoebill gambled 100,000. Toilets has gambled quarter of a fucking million, hoping it'll be higher. And has multiplied that quarter of a million by 1.09. Meaning they've just earned themselves about 24 grand by gambling quarter of a million. 
Very clever bets. It was higher, wasn't it? Aye. Very clever bets. Last night I read uh, uninstalled Dead by Daily in a huff. Uninstalled it in a huff. I was playing with uh, on a survivor team with Sheila. Was it Ghost Kai? And uh, who else? Dando. And uh, shout out for Sheila, by the way, fantastic streamer. But they're so negative. Such a negative person. I know they're on the wind up. But see here in that part again and again and again about oh you don't unhook and you don't do this and you never do that and you don't do this and you never do that see here and that whether you're doing good or whether you're doing bad I'm just like that fuck off you and the same with that fucking other one Shrines shout out for Shrines by the way fantastic streamer the pair of them can't take it um, and I, I, I prefer to dish it out than to take it. That's my personal preference. I prefer dishing it out rather than taking it. Game of Fiend, thanks for turning bits. Morning, I'm starting my day with a Greg sausage roll. Another news, I hear you've had another run in with DVD. No, 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 no. Bart, thanks for the sub. Um, it's just, see me, I'll, I'll tell you what it is. See me. I'm a team player. I'm a team player. Sometimes I do fucking shite. Half the time I do shite. Most times I do shite. Whatever it is, I could have a period of a fucking week of doing shite and then maybe one day where I'm doing actually no bad. Another pip, another pip, two pips, pip, pip, two pips. Uh, being a survivor. I like it. I don't like it, I like it, I don't like it. But I'll tell you what I never like. When the people on your team, your team, have got nothing but criticism. Even if you all get out. Even when you rescue, which I did. Why did you do that? Why did you rescue then? You know, even when you unhook them and get them fucking out. Why then? You shouldn't have you shouldn't have opened the gate then. You should have waited. And then you have to basically explain yourself. I mean I don't have to explain myself, but because because I'm a decent person, I've programmed myself to explain myself to people because I like explaining myself. So people understand. Anyway, it becomes a chore. It becomes a chore that it's no longer about us against the killer. But it's me against the team. It's me defend myself against certain members of the team. So it's no longer about us against the killer. It's no longer us. Let's see if we can get to the gate and teabag at the gate. And that's a good laugh. It's no longer about that. It's a different type of game. It's, it's just endless criticism. Endless regardless if you get out or no, and it's just no how I am used to seeing my Dead by Daylight games. Oh good, I'm going to fire up DBD for a good one or two hour session of criticism. No. I want joy. I want sadism. The sadistic pleasure of winding up the killer. I don't want fucking intra-team intra negativity. But Dusky thinks we sub. One year already, here's to the next 20 hilarious stream last night. It was awful. Kiaski thinks we sub. TikTok, you don't need to install TikTok. I'll, I'll share the, the videos on uh, Twitter and it'll link you to it. You can watch it in the browser. Intra, I think that's in, inside, is it though? Um, so with that 
and the fact I was doing some big fucking mistakes. So I'm already kind of wound up, and then I was fucking things up. I was like pulling pallets down in front of me and no even really moving the camera to see where the killer was that well. So the whole thing, I just thought, I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this anymore. I don't like playing this game anymore. And I uninstalled. I ended that game. Once it was finished, I left. And then I uninstalled Dead by Daylight. I thought, I don't like to play it. I don't like it. I don't like the experience anymore. And then I thought, then I realised, it, no, it's not that. It's one thing to do shit at Dead by Daylight. It's it's another to get, you know, wound up your team members constantly. So I thought, it's actually Sheila. They're the problem here. So I, I reinstalled it last night. So I've still got it. It's still there. So it's still there. So Dead by Daylight Gambling is still a thing. It's still going to happen. Kind of a nice wee team. Positive team. Scruffy says, just play with people more at your level. I'm going to ignore people like Scruffy. I may, un I may unmod Scruffy right now. I'm going to see if I can try and cut these people out of my life. Think about it, I'm not sure. RG Cup, thank, thank you very much for the 200 bits. It was an absolute joy to wake up to your just like your dad's father. I'm glad you liked it. I, as promised. Tactical Droids, thanks for the sub. Any more TikToks coming? Yes, nothing planned. I'm just thinking about it. Um, I with the TikToks, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and think about it too much because you're talking about a week per fucking video, and I don't want to spend that long thinking about stuff. I just, I just rather knock it out, knock it out, knock it out, knock it out, knock it out. This guy says I was talking about me. All right. Dad's off duty. Thanks for turning bits. Mazia Valley. Thanks for sub. Glad to be witnessing your latest DVD spiral. It's fine. Uninstalled. I'd reinstalled. We're back in. King Nuendo. Enjoy. Oh, it's just a cold. All right, right. Ryan thinks the sub. Let's fucking go, everybody. Let's go. Um, just knock one out, let me. <laughs> um, where am I? Stick the purple burglar burglar alarm clip up in TikTok. No, that's no that's not my TikTok. It's going to be. It's not going to be. Here's the thing I did three months ago. It's not going to be a clips. Um, channel. Why make wee things up? But I must. It's good just going through all the wee filters and all the wee things and looking at people's videos and the edits and shit like that. Um, seeing what people do, what clever things they do, what not non-clever things they do, what the trends are, what people are doing, whether I like it or no. The whole, you know, the guys doing that and the winking... It's interesting, it's interesting in a zoo sort of way, seeing people and what they do from a, like a sociological kind of way. You know, seeing guy after guy after guy after guy going like that. And that's it. It's like 10 seconds of them just doing that. Doing that, winking, looking that way, winking, looking that way. Like, like these are both kind of waiting for uh, the 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 dealer to come to the fucking motor with the eckies that you've just given the dealer money for or something. Right, there's the money. Be back in a second, and then they go. They're up to a house, and you know you're you're waiting for them to come back, and you're looking for for to crack me. That's another thing that um, Lynn spotted a lot of the 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 guys do this look. They did this.
I like they're like they're, I don't know they're looking forward to a, like a dirty weekend where you dirty weekend away they're looking forward to it like that yes and the lick of the lips but to me it just it makes me think of like I'm sitting in a motor with this cunt this guy and we've paid like 20 quid each or something for like uh, five or six fucking eckies and a bit of coke or something and we gave them money to get the guys away I'm just going to be up to the house and we back in a wee second and we're just like that looking forward to the night we're looking at each other looking forward to getting fucking mad with that and they like that yes man wink don't tell the police but we're getting class A designer drug ecstasies and that uh, Colombian uh, marching powder like that So then you think the the three hundred bits, Scotty, gives a wink. Is that? It's like the, the the mildest and quickest of winks. Lois thinks the three hundred bits. No wipe your ass for that toilet roll yet. That's kitchen roll. That's toilet roll. Right here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, do you know what? I feel like a change of music. I'm going to go for my 12 hour. Let me four seasons. My 12 hour um, four seasons techno. There it is. There it is. I don't know why the fan of my computer's gone so much just with marbles at 1080p. I wonder if it means that there's quite a bit of dust on the graphics card or something. You know, it's just it's just all getting a bit it's a bit too fucking heat insulated, if you know what I mean. Fuck knows. Marbles is shite on the CPU. Well it's not a CPU thing, that's not a CPU fan. That's the, the that's the fucking graphics card fan. All right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. The bet is in. Will there be more than... Se Game of Fiends, so it's reinstalled. Manually assign a fan curve. No, 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 it's fine. I've done all that shit. I've done all that. I've done it all. Here we go. Like, the graphics card is at a... I've actually got to undervolted. I watched a tutorial on how to undervolt your your, your uh, graphics card. You've done it and all. There you go. Look at this. Look at this. No bad map this by the looks of it. What's this called again? The Gauntlet. Look, lots of opportunities for people to get slowed down who are in the lead. Here as well, rolling about, no quite gone down the holes. Then there's this. That's what that's what you want for a map, I think. I made this eye. I, I mean I didn't obviously come up with the original composition. But it was my Ableton job I right, all you want is we lots of wee opportunities for the people in the league to get slowed down. Lots of chance. You don't just want the people who happen to be in the lead up there to be in the lead or the fucking way down. You don't want that. Like that, look, Fly Rock was doing well, banged into that. You don't, you don't want this. You don't want all oh, this shit. Unless that's a bit you can fall off. These wee things are good. Oh, look. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, no, that's back there. Right. I see, I see, I see. 
Fucked it. Good. Fufu. Fufu wins a VIP. That's a win for a VIP. Fufu, congrats. A one in a thousand chance. One, two. Two subs in the top ten. That is fucking... That is... Why, why are people not supporting me? What have I done? Am I no worth it? Am I no worth going to gaming.amazon.com and linking your Twitch account to your Amazon account and giving us your Prime sub? Is that really too much effort, that? Vex, Critchell, Willie, Bellam, thanks for the sub. Thanks for the subs. Dead, 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 dead. One Wally. William Smelly. Will you make it? Will you make it? Oh! Death is coming. Death comes for us all. Bastard's going to make it. Here goes. Man wins hot air balloon. Fucking magic. Congratulations, Fufu. And if you want that music for yourself for any particular reason, simply go. Right, so there you go. 12 hours of Four Seasons techno version on YouTube if you want this for yourself. And it is 12 hours. Actually, Aye, it's actually 12 hours in one second if you think of it. There you go. So if I, if I put it to, say, 7 hours and 9 minutes. Reasonable Seraphon. There you go. Um, what was I going to say there? Aye, so... Um, what is it again? Is it Mysterio? Played by Jake Gillinghall. No, Gillinghall. Revealed Spider-Man's uh, identity and then Spider-Man says to, or Peter Parker says to uh, Doctor, is it Doctor Strange? Um, going to reverse it all. Going to make sure it doesn't happen. That didn't happen. You can do that, can't you? And maybe that sort of brings through some sort of multiverse uh, tear in the, the fabric of space and time sort of shit. So, like, people that he's previously killed are coming back and things like that. Right, so it's a good way of bringing these cunts back to life. Right. Does that mean then, and I've asked this before, I mean, surely, absolutely, surely, no. Surely it's not the case that they're like that, right? I know I've said this before, but Iron Man's deed, thingy's deed, thingy's deed, thingy's deed, and they just absolutely kill that character. I'm not talking about Robert Downey Jr., but kill that character completely and utterly off. They just don't do that. They've got comics that have went on for decades and decades. Actors have had enough playing them. I know that. Plus they're too old. Um, I mean, you don't want to create a character that's been gone for like decades in comic form. And then you get to films, you date it for like, I don't know, 10 years, and they go, that's it, we can never return to this character. You just want to do that as a business. 
as a business, you just wouldn't do that. So, ruins any, je ruins any jeopardy. I but enough time has passed. Like enough times passed, you're not, you're not like, um, you know, like, oh, what's the point in watching this new Iron Man? Let's say if there is one, because you just know that in fifteen years from now there's going to be a new one. You don't think that way. In the same way, you almost don't go like that. Ugh, what's the point watching this? We know they're just actors. I'd be like, hell enough, James Bond. That's not going to fucking happen. No spoilers, by the way. There is no way that, say, if James Bond was to die in some sort of James Bond event like that, they would go, right, that's it. That's him, dude. They would have it. Same with uh, Superman, Iron Man, all of them. So, um, so what are they going to do? Do you think that they, they, they must surely be like that? So here, remember they had that kind of cartoony thing that I'm not pure into Marvel films. When I watch them, I like them like that. They do, they do their job. They do their job. But, um, um, I, there was that, there was that Spider-Man one, uh, Spider-Man multiverse or Spider-Verse, aye, where you got different Spider-Mans for all other place. Well, they'd be doing something like that. I didn't really watch it. I watched bits of it. Um, and this multiverse thing with Doctor Strange, sure, does that mean then they're going to go, right, don't worry, we can still have, um, we can have a new Iron Man then. This is the Iron Man from the other universe. They could do that. But then again, then you might be like, why this one though? But why this one and no another one? Because while you were watching Iron Man or whatever, you're just thinking, you're not even thinking about it, but you're assuming this is Iron Man. This is Iron Man. You're not going, did you know there's other ones? This just one. This isn't... The... It's a bit like seeing they did in Star Trek. I think they did it in Next Generation or Voyager or something, where they had, had ones in different dimensions and they sort of... Um, you know, kind of... Um, like another one for a different dimension or something. I'm like... And then they part ways. I'm like, no, 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 no. Who's the real one? No, don't you get it? It's, it's different dimensions. There is no, like, the one. I'm like, well, I don't like that. Why are we following this one then? Next Generation and Voyager are the only ones that didn't have the Mirror Universe as Matthew in Dublin. Oh, really? I'm sure there was something else. Maybe it was a... I'm sure. Really? Voyager had a cloned ship. It might have been a time travel thing, but that's not the same thing, isn't it? Um, I am live on Twitch. Fuck it, that's all they're getting. Nothing creative. There's a clone Riker with a slightly different beard. Alert. Improv. Oh, the emoji here's a wee bit not quite right, but um Man wins hot air balloon.
Was it Man Wins Hot Air Balloon? I'm not talking about Star Trek anymore, by the way, in case you're like, what, what, what wins that? What, what wins that? Top of the improv story. Right, here we go. Let's see. I think this is got. I think I don't think this is going to. Professional streamer. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Playing catch up. Thanks to the bits. You're very welcome to the raid. Give a shout out for playing catch up. Who are raided last night? Rocket. Thanks to three hundred bits. The plant is looking very lush and verdant. Is that how you say it? Is it verdant? Verdon. Gnarly and Mowgli, Ryan, your man Chris. Thanks for the subs. So glad to get to watch your hair slowly but surely recede. Have a good June. You as well. Ginges, thank you very much for your contribution. Ollie and Louie, Relam, the Alfie Show, thanks for the subs. Luscious. Never needs word. Never needs cared for. Same with that. Luscious and fake. So dystopian, that's what I'm all about. I love all that, man. Um, by the way, This improv story. Telling things to the sub. Big birthday shout out to Patrick McMahon. Did the same thing last year and he loved it. Um, I hope that the person's alright and it's no, I've not said anything bad. Man wins hot air balloon, let the story commence. Craig got a wee letter through the door, you... Congratulations, you have won. And he was just ready to rip it up. It said, you have won a hot air balloon. What? He thought it would maybe be, you have won a carriage clock. If you sign up for the, the Sun Life Over 50s plan. But it said, you have won a hot air balloon. And he looked at it and he thought, what's this hot air? Is this some sort of... Uh, travel or events company you have won a hot air balloon trip you've just been entered into a prize draw really it says you have won a hot air balloon he read it again nah they, 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 they fucked it up it looks like it's saying that I've actually won the fucking balloon rather than I've won a trip on one your very own hot air balloon what and it had pictures of people in hot air balloons Quotes, there was somebody like that and a wee picture, a wee sort of box like that. With a kind of cagoule. Another one with somebody with a cardigan and like drinking champagne. So I couldn't believe it. My very own hot air balloon. And they gave me uh, uh, instructions on how to use it. What is this? Is this a comedy thing? Have I been memed or exed? And it said, all I had, all I had today was um, go to this website and uh, type in the code that's on the the bottom. So he went to this website and he went like, wait a minute, is this phishing? Is this that, is this that phishing? Is this a scam? As long as you're not putting in your fucking card details or anything like that, you're fine. But can you not get my, my P? My, what does X mean? Jane Jez, you don't know. You don't know what being exed means. <laughs> what? Blubber doesn't know. You don't know? If you've been exed, it means you're on Jamie Kennedy's new hidden camera program called, you see, it's called the Jamie Kennedy Experience. You didn't know? Everybody knows, at least they know after they've been ex because he tells them. He tells them, a, I've got this, I've actually got this hidden camera program. It's actually been going on for quite a few years now, uh, but I have been told to keep saying it because the viewing figures are not uh, brilliant. But, um, but we press on. 
who's Jimmy Kennedy? Anyway, we'll, I'll show you that later. Um. No. Oh, fuck. What was that again? List uh, remove, wasn't it? Right. And then, uh, no, no, no. Uh, um, right. So he went to this website and typed in the code and it says, that's it, you've won. That's it, you got it, that's it. So here it is, pick up anytime you want. Uh, at the Cumbernauld, Cumbernauld um, uh, airport sort of thing. Right, this is a fucking scam, man. That's a scam. What's it called, coming out hello? That's a scam, miss. But he went along, and they said, Hi, are you Craig? Yep. Okay. So here it is here. We're just going to take... So what, what, what is this? If I... Oh, you've won. I've got my own hot air balloon. Come on, we'll show you. And I showed him that there's the, the, the kind of basket thing and the big f fucking gas. And it takes a lot of gas um, to heat that and do that. And he said, right, what what's the catch here? And had the show that. So the balloon is there. and So I'm going up in the bu balloon just now. No, you wouldn't be doing it here. This is an air. This is a an airport. This is a landing strip. So if you date here, it'd be very dangerous for the planes. No, it's just that this is where we got it. I, I don't know who came up with the idea. They must have thought, well, things go up in the sky here, planes. So that's a good place to. That's really daft. But no, we we'll, we can take this and uh, put this in a field for you, and away you go. He said, "So you, the company that 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 have done this." Yep, I work for the for the Scott Air Scott Balloon and Scott Air Balloon, Scott Hot Air Balloon, Scotia. You said I work for Scotia Hot Air Balloons, and Craig went. What's the catch here? Why are you just giving this away? Well. I don't know, is it, my boss isn't here, so I can just tell you. Um, basically, how we earn on money is you, you've you got the hot air balloon. Hopefully, you'll be telling a lot of your friends about hot air balloons. We get a bit of business for our own hot air balloon company. And uh, basically, we, we sell and facilitate the selling of the gas canisters. They need that, so obviously, we take a wee bit of profit of that. Um and we can give you advice and stuff like that, but mainly it's to promote us, and hopefully you, you know, you'll you'll uh, you'll tweet about it on what, uh, social media and things like that on your talk uh, talk talks and things like that. Um, but it's yours, they catch. All right, well, what what did I do then? Well, I shouldn't be doing this. You might just take this away, but I'll, I'll I can give you a lift. All right, so they put the. All the all this stuff and took it on the, on the top of this motor and took it away um, to a field, and the guy went right. So what you do is you pull that, you do that, that heats up. You got to heat up on the ground. Have you ever seen that? Gets all big on the side, like on the side, just lying there. You got to blow it like I've, I think I've seen that in a program. I it will then slowly lift up, and then what you're going to want, and then explain the whole thing, and that's that up, up and away. As the song goes.
that's what he said. That's what Craig said when he heard the songs. I remember that. Right, so, and then, so what did I do now? Well, what do you mean, what do you do now? What do you, he's like, oh, 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 it's working, I'm going up. I'm going up. So he's gone up, and the guy was like, and he pulled it. And Craig did that, and, yeah, going up, and up, and up. And Craig said, how do I get done? And the guy said, it's hot air. Hot air goes up. It'll cool. And you'll come down. And Craig was like, but how, how, how do I steer it? And the guy went, oh, <laughs> it wasn't a Jeff Bezos. He just happened to laugh like that. It wasn't an evil laugh. It was just a funny thing. How do you steer it? You can't steer a hot air balloon. You don't steer it. The Craig was up there. Craig was up there, like this. Fucking up there. Like that. Gone through the sky. Like that. Like that. Except what he didn't know is he didn't look at the, the artwork that was on his side. And what he didn't know, it was to promote some fucking far right lot. Like that fucking Britain first. Had Britain first on his side. Because he looked down, he went a bit low and some people were like fucking gone like that. And he went, what, what, what's this? And he had these phone, he saw people tweeting about it and people go like, what's this fucking far right shit? What is this balloon? And he was like, that's where I am. Wait. What? You know that Morrissey thing? Is that's fucking me. And people will like sort of try to take pictures with tele, telephoto lenses and things like that. Um, and he just jumped. He just thought, I can't I fucking, no, fuck this. He just thought, what I'm going to have to put up with, like, why didn't people be like, why did you not check? Why were you not suspicious? I'm going to fucking get it here. And he just thought, fuck it. I'm not dealing with the fallout here. So he just went, like, I'm jumping. Fuck it. He jumped for about the height of... The height of run about... About the Eiffel Tower. But the height of the Eiffel Tower. So no very high. High enough to die, though. Hold on. That high. Right up there. But before he jumped, he regretted it. He regretted it. He's just about to jump and, he, and, he, and he, just, he changed his mind and he made a wish. He thought, I'm going um, to say out loud what I hope I land in. And he was ready to say cotton wool, but he tripped and he went, shit! <laughs> he landed on a shite. <laughs> he landed like on a shite and he's right up to there. <laughs> it was right up to there. On a shite, man. Landed on a mad like fucking... Like a fan. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Sorry for the close-up of me snottering there. Please yourself, very pleased. Very pleased. The end. <laughs> That's a true story. How do I know? Because um, I was actually the guy that, that, that guy that showed him how to operate it, 
um, that was me. I hadn't checked. I was employed to just do that because I knew I know how to do that. I didn't know what was on the side of the fucking balloon. You don't see it when it's done on its side like that. You don't see it. You can't see it if you're done there. You're you're directly underneath it. It was once it was up and then away. I saw it. I thought, oh fuck. So I did. So I, that's how I got into this. I just did a, done a runner. So you're far right. No, I got duped. You're speaking of jup, duped. And it's no jup. Is it jup, jup? What did jup smell like? Oh, it's hard to explain into it. You can't actually do that in words. Jup. What was jup like? Like shite? What was that? What was that perfume? It wasn't a dupe. It was a perfume. I remember it. There was a, there was a lassie I knew that wore this perfume when I was about 15. I had Obsession and Paco Rabanne. And she had... Uh, and it was... It was... It's like something, something. I think it's the the same word twice. This is like late fucking eighties, late eighties. Is it jup jup? No. C K one. It's the same word twice. No, it's a perfume. Anybody? Nobody know. No, I use it all. No, I just don't know. Somebody just said, is that right, John? A lot of people have said a lot of things. What did they say, John? John, what did they say? John said that somebody said. What did they say that's absolutely the correct answer, John? Can't even see, it's just flying up the screen. Won't let me retype the same. Right. You'll be able to say it now then. What was it? I'm pretty sure it was. Do you, do you, no, no, I'm pretty sure. Anise, no, it's no that. It wasn't an, what, Anise, Anise. It was, it was like. Maybe it was, maybe it was dupe, and I'm getting mixed up with. Dupe by dupe. The song. Dupe. It's dupe. It's dupe mostly. Jump, jump, no, it was the same. Zoom, zoom, oh, fuck knows. What was that? Oh, fuck knows, I'm never going to remember. I'll see it, I'll see it at some point. Geo, geo, it was not that. Might have been jip, might have been. Das feeder, chim char, stop the lights, thanks for subs and bits. Happy thanks taken, let me... Thank you very much. I'm Alex the Kid, thanks the bits. First day back in the office since the pandemic began, back to the old rat race. I've hid myself away in the corner so I can stick my headphones on. Enjoy. Fuck the lot of them. You look after yourself. Shuriken, thanks for the sub. So the Jamie uh, X to be X'd. Jamie Kennedy, I saw this on the telly one night, to, to the people who are like that, I don't, I don't know, um, and it was some hidden camera programme called the Jamie Kennedy Experiment, 
where the actor, comedian or whatever he is, Jamie Kennedy, um, it was in the 90s, I think, does a kind of prosthetic and wig sort of fucking carry on and does like um, a hidden camera sort of thing where he acts it all out or he you know, does all that shit. And he tried to make you've been exed a thing. Like if you've been exed, that means as Jamie Kennedy's got you on the Jamie Kennedy experiment, which is new here on the the, uh, the WB. Was it the WB? Like a, a Warner Brothers thing? Was it the WB or something else? Sounds like he su uh, succeeded. I but no, the way that he wanted. The one that I saw was Jamie Kennedy experiment. Um, was it basketball? Base? No, 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 no. Was it ice hockey? Was it? What was it? What was this? I'll do stadium. That's the word. That's the word. In fact, I'll do nothing. Um, is that marriage, wasn't it? Like a proposal or something? Oh, it's this. Asking someone to marry you is pretty tough. Try doing it in front of this crowd. I may, I may get that. I may get that. Be tough. Try doing it in front of this crowd. He's wacky. He's wacky, isn't he? That's it. There he is there, look. He's wearing a wig, so you don't know it's him. 111 row double H and the red vision for a very special occasion. Right, so the date it as if it's a, it's just a, a normal guy. Okay. Marriage proposal. He says, will you marry me? And she says, no. And there's the... They all must know. They all must know. This is an act. You just know when people are acting all fucking shit. Oh, it's hard to tell though because see Americans. And you'll notice this with certain videos. Americans, a lot of Americans, their natural state is like they're acting bad, like bad acting. Like, you, like you'll be like, um, nobody would do that. Like, you might be watching some film, you go, look at the way they're acting. God, they're a shite actor. Nobody does that. Nobody says that. Nobody, you wouldn't react in that way in that situation. But then you actually see footage of actual Americans and how they react. And that is actually how they are. I don't know if they get it. I don't know if Americans learn their behaviour for films or if the films have come about for their behaviour. I don't know what it is. Maximum respect to, to, all, to all, the, all the good Americans. <laughs> so anyway, so... He gets a no, like he's a, like he's been rejected for this marriage proposal, and everybody's like, oh my god, they all fucking no, they're all into it. So they act as if like to, to cheer him up. But they'd like to give uh, this gentleman some free tickets to the rest of the season if he can convert just one free throw. This guy's really been down on his luck. Place is fucking half empty. What is this? So let's cheer him on. Give him a there. Out there. Tons of empty seats. Look. 
Look, look at this heel. There. Tickets for the rest of the season and maybe that'll make you feel. University of Las Vegas, so is it like fuck all? Is it nothing? It's a college game. A little bit better. Wait a minute, what's up? And he'll have tickets for the rest of the season and maybe that'll make you feel a little bit better. They're all just watching this like it's a, like a wee show put on for them. Aren't they? That's the ring box, I. They're just watching us like it's a wee show put on for them. I don't think any of them are going like that. That's a, that's a shame for this guy, or... Um, this guy's funny. Did you, did you see this? The guy's got rejected for a like, marriage proposal. I think they're all like that. I think it's a thing. It's for a... Sort of, it must be for a programme. I mean, look the way that they're filming it all, look. Look at the way they're... You never see that many cameras in here. This is obviously a thing. Look how they've got cameras where we card above it saying the Jamie Kennedy experiment. <laughs> anyway, so he misses, he misses, he misses, then he does all this. Up here. Oh, I so look. So look, everybody, this is it. Please stop. No, I want to explain. Some people go out. What, what do you mean when you go like that? You've been exed. Why'd you say you've been exed? What does that mean? So there's some people who've not seen this before. I saw this on the telly one night and I was like, what is this fucking shit? Look, look up the top. Hey, everybody. Up here. Yeah, that's right, up here. You've been asked. That guy down on the floor there, that's me, Jamie Kennedy. And you're all on my new hidden camera show on the WB called the Jamie Kennedy Experiment. Gotcha. Ha ha ha, got ye. Ah ha 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 Got ye. Show on the there. Yeah, that's right. Up here. Everybody, up here. You've been asked. You've been asked. Yeah, that's right. Up here. You've been asked. You've been asked. It's called. It's a thing. We're calling it. This is called. This is called being next. That guy down on the floor there. That's me, Jamie Kennedy. Who? Huh? And you're all on my new hidden camera show on the WB. Fake cheers. You can hear the fake cheers. Called the Jamie Kennedy Experiment. Gotcha. I fucking, I remember watching this. I don't know what time it was on. I just happened to switch on the telly, happened to go through the channels and this happened to be on. And I just thought, who is, he fu who is this cunt? And who does he fucking think he is with this mad fucking face? Like, he's pure fucking mental. And honestly, he'll do anything. See, to get you, see, to get you exed. The ideas that this cunt's got. Only, only, only him. That guy down on the floor. And there? Sasha Bar and Cohen. I've got the guts. To, to go this far and it man. Up here. Yeah, that's right, up here. You've been asked. That guy down on the floor there? That's me, Jamie Kennedy. And you're all on my new hidden camera show on the WB called the Jamie Kennedy Experiment. And then I won't do it again, but we were looking at lots and lots of these ones. Same fuck. Oh, look, series two, episode one. Where he's still having to go like that. You've been next. You're. That means you're on my hidden camera 
program. I'm Jimmy. I'm Jimmy Kennedy. Oh, who? Do you remember? Um, I was in Scream. Oh, you're him. And Scream, who was in like a, a American Pie. No, you're thinking no. Oh. <laughs> you can tell, I mean, I've not watched the beginning of this, but you can tell it's the piano player that's getting X'd right now, can't you? <laughs> and he's pretending to be some sort of rapper, but he's crap. <laughs> I'm just going to watch this one, and then I'm going to... Um, do you think maybe it was Jamie Kennedy getting X'd the whole time? Like, you don't know it, but we're all fucking laughing at you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not, that's, that's cruel. That's cruel. What you really got like, we're all, like, pissing ourselves at how shite this is. You think this is, like, like a good programme and it's all going, it's going to go somewhere. No, it's very... There's some, <laughs> there's some very rich people who've picked billionaires who are bored that want to put one person through this humiliation without them knowing it. This is like just something, it's like Squid Game and all these sorts of things like um, Hostel, that kind of thing. Sadistic, bored billionaires. Stay really funny, babe. You want to buzz around? I'll tell you talking to him. I run things like the sheriff was James Brown. Look, he's the one being exed. And he doesn't even know it. I to you. <laughs> He's in on it, the piano guy. He's in on it. Make a call right now, Kelly. Let's go. I'll be right back. Right. So let's see with the bit where it's revealed. Yeah, I do his beats. Like, I'm my own instrument. Like, I do, like... <laughs> <laughs> the beatbox is shite. Wait a minute. Did they? Did the people laugh there before they've even had a chance to let the funniness sink in? Am I right in saying that the canned laughter? Listen. I do like. <laughs> what he just did standard beatbox in there. There's no op. There's no. It hasn't got shite yet. Why did they laugh the second time, everybody? Listen to this. So let's say people are genuinely laughing at that moment. Why, why the next laugh? Listen. There. What happened? Why did a, a large group of people laugh at kinda the moment just before he stopped? <laughs> Laughing at it happening? <laughs> this is all fake. So Jamie Kennedy is watching this back in the edit, thinking this is people, well not in the edit, and when it went out, thinking that people were laughing at this, they were showing it in a kind of studio and they were all laughing. Yeah. What's up, Yo, dude? Man. This is cruel. Right. This isn't nice. Dope this isn't. Dope Why didn't tell me that you were... This isn't nice. <laughs> what is that? That can't do that. <laughs> All day. I was at the. <laughs> Hold on. This isn't nice. What they're doing to him. That's. That's fucking out of order. You said it. This is out of order. All oh, the producers pissing themselves. So let's get on. Let's go on to the bit where um, Benny Stex thinks the sub, Murta Man thinks the turn of bits, Jamie Kennedy E three clip. No, the glad you like it, Murta Man. Local server thinks the five hundred bits. 
Jimmy Keddy here, I've been playing this for 20 years. I've been next! Fuck! Renard thinks the three quid. Trying to redeem myself after yesterday. Renard, I can't remember. People say that all the time. Sorry about what I said yesterday. I can't remember what anybody said an hour ago. Here goes. I quit my job as a PT because I'm not strong enough to lift the weights. I've handed in my two-week notice. PT, everybody, is a physical therapist. That's all right. It's just the PT I had to explain that. Oh, personal trainer. I thought it was physical therapist. I've seen PT's physical fucking therapist. That's why it doesn't fucking work. Physical trainer, I thought it said somebody else. I have been to see a physical therapist because my back's shite. And I went to see one at the at the hospital and showed me these exercises to make my, my back better and they abbreviated that to PT. Surely mean physio? No, I'm pretty sure. I thought it was physical therapist as well. There you go, look what you've fucking done. Renard. Stop the lights, thanks to 300 bits. Thanks again, Mick the Master Farter. Rumpelstiltskin, thanks to subs. Either one works at Disney. A physical therapist Disney really have to lift the weights. Neither does a personal up, trainer. Cleveland? Neither does a personal trainer. A personal trainer just needs to go like that. Uh, so do this. Right, now do that. <laughs> right, let's get to the... Yo, your mom. Her teeth are made of rocks. I saw my dad the other day. He rolled up to me and said, you got my money, pay me. I said, no, G, you still owe me some funds. But he said, yo, I got tons. What if I work on the raccoon tonight? Right, you ready? You ready? Let's get to the X moment. How long is this fuck? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. How long has that been? So, by the way, so this is how he really looks. Like this guy, Marshall. A classically trained penist. Right. Every great rap group need? A classically trained penist. Right. <laughs> like this guy, Marshall. He thinks I didn't see anybody laugh. I heard people laugh at him saying that what every rapper needs is a classically trained penis. That looks like a fucking wig. I heard them laughing, but then when it cut to the wide shot there, I didn't see anybody laughing. Let me see. Penis. Right. <laughs> Hmm. Maybe everybody else except them is laughing. Hmm. Maybe all the people behind the screen are laughing. Right. That'll be it. <laughs> right, so how... This guy, Marshall. He thinks he's showing up for a classical audition. The experiment? How far will he go when he finds out that he's really auditioning for Brad Gluckman's rap group? Right. Be down in a second. So we're at, we're at 1 minute 25. Right, there's the, there's, the, there's the cuddle. So this is 6 minutes of this. 6 minutes. So here we go. Here's the X moment. He's about to get X'd. This is series 2. First episode of series 2. Let's place our bets. No actual channel point bet. Let's place our bets mentally. If he is having to explain that he's Jamie Kennedy and you're on my new hidden camera show called the Jamie Kennedy Experience, which is on the WB, which is a telly channel that Warner Brothers have got, that will probably get axed in about three years. Let's see. Let's see how, how much of that he has to say. <laughs> I work on the raccoon tonight. What if I work on the raccoon tonight? It's okay. It's okay. 
Get out. We should make it. Dude, we got two minutes to figure this out. Hey. He just hit me with a tiger. I'm sorry, I feel like that. You good, dude. Glad you okay. You dope. Come. I gotta tell you that you've been exed. What? You're on my hidden camera show called the Jamie Kennedy Experiment. Yeah, the new camera show. That'll be it. Don't let the camera see it. You're a good sport. You're a good sport, buddy. You're a good sport. You haven't paid me. Show. I tell you that like you good, dude. Glad you're okay. You dope. Come. I gotta tell you that you've been exed. What? You're on my hidden camera show called the Jamie Kennedy <laughs> Experiment. What? Yo. Come. I gotta tell you that you've been exed. What? You're on my hidden camera show called the Jamie Kennedy <laughs> Experiment. <laughs> yeah. The new camera show. Don't let the camera see it. <laughs> I wonder what that what was. What? Jacob was say uh, it's scripted. Because I'm wondering, I don't think he will know what the fuck that means. You've been exed. I don't think it's like, by the way, you're in candid camera. What? I don't think it's like that. Is it because he said you've been ex and he's like, what? This is a strange thing to say. What does that mean? Or did, like, say somebody walk out with a camera and he's like, wait, what? Because look at this, look. Producer with a fucking earpiece and everything. Let me go right on to the ex moment of this one, whatever the fuck this is. Here we go, look. So this job... They said no good, so they fired up the bobcat and started destroying the house. You're kidding me, right? No. What you see is... You this is the X moment. Minutes. What did well, you do? No, you didn't. It's all right there. <laughs> Are you crazy? No, we're supposed to do it. He was telling us it was part of the renovation. Yeah, you said we could do it. Don, you told them to do it? I haven't said five words since I got here. Wow. I haven't said five you. words. That's six. Wait, Don, what did you... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Don. <laughs> Are you serious? You said that we could do this to the house. You said we were renovating it. I know you. This is on camera. Where's the camera? <laughs> 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 what? Hey, what? Hey, hey, hey. Bullshit. Does he fuck know him? Does he fuck know him? I know you. Does he fuck know him? I know you. No, he doesn't. He wasn't that well known. I'd really, I honestly, I, I want to, I don't want to just slag this off and get torn into this program and be wrong. I don't want, you know, I don't want to say, does he fuck know who he is? And then find out the Jamie Kennedy experiment was actually the first series was fucking huge. So this is series two. I don't think, I mean, I've got no evidence. If you were to say, prevent, present your evidence. That the Jamie Kennedy experiment series one um, didn't take off, didn't go well. I don't have any evidence. It's just a feeling. Shut the fuck up then, says what about you? <laughs> but I don't know. I know you. I know you. This is on camera. Where's the camera? <laughs> <laughs> there you fuck, man. I know you. Right, so what we're thinking, Jamie, for the second series, now, it's no taking off. I, I, I mean, the people who did watch it, they, 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 some of them did say they liked it. But it's just no taking off. So, there's nothing, nothing better. I just say it. You know when something gets in the charts, like music or something, then you might become aware of that song because it's in the charts and then it then gets played on like the radio mayor. So then it becomes even more popular. By getting in the charts, by getting in some sort of... By appearing to be popular, it gains popularity. 
Like a fidget spinner. Spinner, which isn't, has only come out for about another 15 years. Simply by being popular, it becomes even more popular. Like a crazy snowballs. Well, what we need is we need to present the illusion. Illusion? No, well... We need to present the image that that this is popular and people recognise you and they're on it and everybody's watching this right now. So everybody's watching it. Right, Jamie, you're a grown man, so I've got to tell you the truth. This is fucking tanking. Critically and in terms of viewing figures, it's tanking. Right, this is bomb. This is bombing. Have you have ever bombed on stage? This is this is what's happening with this. Now we need to for anybody who stumbles upon this program late at night to get the the, the feeling that everybody else is watching us and they're going to be left out if they don't watch it. So we need to sort of have people say. Wait a minute, I know you! This is the Jamie Kennedy experiment! I've been hexed! We need that to get the feeling, oh, is this, oh, is it, is it me that's shy and know this? Oh, right, so, so, so it's that popular that people will do that? No! I'm saying no! So, well, how are we going to do it? We're going to get an actor. We're going to get an actor in, and he is going to pretend that he recognises you. So that anybody watching this will falsely believe that this is dead popular, which will make them want to watch it. People like popular things, whether they actually would like it by themselves. Said five words. <laughs> Are you serious? You. This is. Said that we could do this to the house. You said we were in so we've got a really good actor, this guy here, really natural, really good. Uh, we'll show you some of the uh, a wee reel that he's that he's done. He's 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 sent is in a tape of him doing it. So here we go. Watch watch this. You can do it on cue. You can do it on cue. Ah, he's got his prop. So. He likes to have, like, say, a wee toothpick or a, a, a lollipop stick or something in his mouth that he can sort of chew and it gives a kind of natural... It's, it's hard to explain, but it just gives a kind of natural... I'm doing something. I'm no, like, too rigid in my acting. I'm just sort of fidgeting. So watch this. You can do it on cue. Um, so, Brad. Action. Hmm. Where am I? At? Where am I? I know you. I know you. I know you. Cut. Great. Watch this. Do another one. Brad. Action. I didn't say that. I know you. I know you. I know you. Come here, you. Cut. Great. 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 All right. We're ready for a take. This is it. Well, 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 well uh, recording the sound there. This is this is the one. Okay. I know you. This is on camera. Where's the camera? <laughs> <laughs> now remember. Remember, don't do it too rough because you tore off the beard on take two. Remember. You accidentally. This is like this is like take four. Okay. Uh, can we reset everybody? Um, makeup. The beard has come off a wee bit there. If we can just reset that, get the beard back on for the the, the reveal and the grab. Can we get the stunt coordinator to check health and safety? Can you check to make sure that's okay for him to pull him over to the the hedge area there? Can we have a check to see if, there's, if that's a bit of a drop, bit of a cliff? Right. Check for anything that you can trip air. Um, is this insured? Is this in, is this in compliance? Is this, we've got this. Could put a mattress down there. We'll be able to see the mattress. Um, right, Jamie, we kind of get a mattress in there because the, the plant, it won't fit in between the plants. Just make sure, what's your name again? Brad. When you drag him here, um, make sure you don't pull up the beard again. 
and don't drag him in there because if he falls, it could get injured and we've got other ones to get done today, okay? And action. Right, wait a minute. Let's see him get X'd. Let's see. All right. I don't even know what this one is. DVD, Summer Catch, the robot, is very, very happy. <laughs> Newcomers, you can give anything as small as a Q-tip or a $50 bill. Wait a minute. It goes on. It goes on. Give a dollar. How long is this fucking thing? Patronated by Bliss Inc. and Grant to Bliss control over my likeness, my possessions, any fees paid to me in perpetuity in and in connection with work assignments produced or caused to be produced by Bliss Inc. Now, who would like to sign and join our family? What? Wait, 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 wait. I promise it's, it's so much better. Oh, well, it's an advert. We've got an, oh, it's a fucking long one. How long is this fucking one? The cult is called Bliss, and we work in a fortune. <laughs> so it starts at about 12 minutes. I'm ready to receive you now. Now remember, the ones with the X's on them are the people we're playing a trick on. And it doesn't hurt that eight Freddie minutes. Prince Jr. Oh, it goes on for about eight minutes. Come give your soul over to the acting gurus of gods and Bliss. fruits and nuts. <laughs> so is this some sort of acting, the actor's studio, and this person's getting advice, but then it's all getting culty? Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> well, you can sign an X on there because you've just been X'd. <laughs> Does they fucking know? Because you've just been X'd. Huh? You're on my hidden camera show, the Jamie Kennedy Experience! <laughs> Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Next. Well, you can sign an X on there. You can sign an X on there. Penny dropping? Because you've just been X'd. Boom! There it is. Because you you're on a hidden camera program. Is, oh, listen, let me finish. It's called the Jamie Kenner. Oh, fuck it. You're on my hidden camera show, the Jamie Kennedy Experience. Hey! hey. 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 Right, Al, see it there? Had the a camera just there? You see it? Let's thank April for being such a good sport. Thank you. Good night. So that's it. <laughs> because uh, you've been next. I'll be next. You've been next. You've been next. No, you've been exed. You've been exed. You have been exed. You're on my hidden camera. Pro oh, hidden camera! I let my head. Shh. My hidden camera program show, which is called the Jamie. K Shh. It's called the Jamie Kennedy Experience, and this is the third fucking series. And it's on the WB, which is a Warner Brothers channel. And when we get somebody, we say, you've been X'd. You've been X'd. So everybody out there on Teleland watching right now, 
if you hear somebody say, you've been exed, it's because of me. It's, and, and you can do it as well. We're not going to sue you. If you want to like, there'll be prank on one of your pals or in, in the workplace, say you've been exed. And if everybody says, what do you mean exed? Say, this is fit like the Jamie Kennedy experiment on the WB, which is me. I'm Jamie Kennedy. I was in Scream. Mind. No, 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 the main guy, the other, no, not him either, the other. Drew Felton Odyssey, Yarp. Thanks for the subs. Was he in, was he in Scream? Aye. See, I thought, I mistakenly thought he was the, he was Dr. Evil's son who just doesn't get it. I watched that yesterday, I think, or the day before. Dr. Evil just don't get it. I remember watching that and I thought it was funny. I, I watched it. I watched it after everybody else. Everybody was going on about Austin Powers, Austin Powers, Austin Powers. I didn't watch it until fucking later. But, um, but I liked it. He's funny in it, in my personal opinion. And then he did all that other stuff like the Love Guru or... Did he write that? Is that his character? He wrote Austin Powers. It's fucking mad that um, um, his name's Mike Myers, isn't it? Uh, where am I? Where am I? Spectrum Retreat. What about his fat Scottish character? Awful. Because it's terrible. I need to stop saying the word awful. I keep saying it a lot. Um... Is this Das Scottish or Moss Scottish or something? Somebody says Ma, somebody says Da. Probably, right. He's of Scottish lineage. Or whatever. Um, Mike Myers. Oh, uh, born to British immigrant parents from the old Swan area of Liverpool. His dad was an insurance agent, his mother... Well, wait a minute then. Well, wait a wee... Uh, wait a minute here. Wait a minute. Read the chat, man. The chat's full of fucking shite days. Are you new here? Um, Game of Fiend thinks it's on bits. Such a sad story. When did he start wearing the mask and killing people? Such a waste of talent. Game of Fiend, I don't want any... Seriously, I don't want... I'm really, really fucking hard on shite part of, by the way. And I will not, I won't even put up with it for you. I said hard on there and got away with it. <laughs> B, thanks to sub. Hosenator. Daddy Stink, thanks to subs and bits. Glad you like your TikToks. Um, next is an also trash to the show. Next, when they think the contestants are ugly. All right, I'm, going to, I'm not going to check it out. That does this, that does this sound good. We kind of have that Gamer Fiend. Give a shout out for Gamer Fiend, fantastic streamer. It's just that, just that, 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 I just wasn't like my cup of tea there. Right. I thought, but he's done Fat Bastard, whatever it is, Scottish one, and he's got the Scottish accent for uh, Shrek. He's, I'm sure. Is he, does he, has he got nay? Scottish. He did all things Scottish. My parents were from an emigrated Canada before I was born. I also have Scottish heritage. So, 
Right, so say his like the ones that are in Liverpool at the Mall or the Da, like his grander is Scottish, or, or one of his, one of his granders or grannies or Scottish. That's too. I don't think that works. I think if you, I think if you go back to England. And then they sort of go back to Scotland. I think if England has got the priority, if you know what I mean. Do you know what I mean? I think it out, no outranks it, but it's not like um, I mean, I suppose it depends, but. English is, is your first one. Like, like, you're in Canada. Your parents are for, for England. And then their parents are for um, Scotland. I would say, this is almost like that inscription card game, that you... Anybody's allowed to take the whole fucking piss take a Scottish people as the ones don't give a fuck. But I would say that if we are talking about oh I can do that, I can do that because I've got Scottish heritage, so I can do these sort of Scottish characters and all that. Again, I don't give a fuck. I don't think any anybody in Scotland actually gives a fuck about any of that, really. But if your nearest ancestor is English that prevents you for then doing the Scottish thing in a piss takey way because we've already had enough for the English. Oh, it's up here dry. It's just a joke anyway. It's a joke. It's just a bit of fun. Oh, what was this? Genres self-deprecation. Is that the, is that the piss take the Scottish thing? That's no self. I need to I need to know. I need to know. Eric Myers insurance and mother was Alice Bunny E Myers. How do you say it again? Is it knee? Nay? 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 How do you say that again? Like was previously known as. Data processor. Nay. The Spratic Assassin thinks the sub. Okay, I'm sending you my healing thoughts. All the best with the flu. Uncle Fraz thinks to the bits. YouTube it. YouTube what? What's it called? Coming all thinks the subs and bits. Mike Myers' Scottish accent is better than yours, you Scotch prick. <laughs> Meaningless man. Meaningless. Tons of Saturday Night Life is like this. I would bin it. I would go like that. We kind of do it live anymore because it, it's too much pressure to write stuff and you, we can see in the quality. We can see, well, there's some bits that are live. Um, but will they pre-recorded sketches? I know, but but people will not like it. People already don't like it. People think it's shite. Mad. One joke stretch. What is the fucking joke? Octoly thinks it's on a bit. Certainly, life is not improv. It's scripted. I, yeah. Three Socks and Pudding Dancer. Peckham Chapel thinks it's sub. That was really fucking bad. That's, that's, a, that's a kind of comedy programme. Can you check for a, a coffee that don't know if they've worn a chill about 50 minutes ago? Um, right, hold on. That was... Um, Have you ever done 
your ancestry or family tree to see if you are fully Scottish. I did mine recently and due to transport restrictions, <laughs> one side of my family ne never left a certain village for hundreds of years. Well, no, I've no, I've never, never done anything like that. Scottish and, not to get all political here and all the rest of it, but Scottish or fully Scottish and how Scottish you are and all that, it's all kind of, sort of meaningless, really, isn't it? It doesn't really mean anything. I mean, the, the only thing that sort of matters is just the facts of the matter, like, um, like, my dad was for here and my ma was for there. His ma was for here and his dad was for there, and her ma was for there and that, and that, like, where did they come from and all that, but the whole um, thing about, like, uh, uh, being Scottish, what does it mean? Or English or anything like that, what does it mean? What does that actually mean? Is it is it the illegal thing, uh, the nationality, citizenship sort of thing, having a passport, or is it um, how far do you go back? Who has decided? Is it three generations, ten? What if you go back? Fucking twenty generations, thirty generations back to Scotland on one side, but if you go back three generations. Or they're actually for Ireland, or they're actually for Sweden, or somewhere. Is that it? Is that you? Ooh. You know, Scottish anymore, or what? What does it mean? You were born there, or you were born there, but, but what if you were born and then moved away? Nobody fucking knows. You get people with very strong feelings about it, though, but a lot of them are kind of assholes. Sinister Museum, thanks for the sub. Ten months of utter muck. Fucking yes, thank you very much. Chess, thanks for the sub. If you want to cleanse your ears and eyes, Jamie Carragher. Carragher did an American accent on Taylor last night. Oh, that thing I saw, uh, that does, I don't really know that cunt. I'm not into fit boss, so seeing that I love a puddling to an American accent, it doesn't really mean much to me. You may as well just call that semi a random guy on YouTube. Their American accent. It's all it's all sort of foggy. It's all foggy, all that nationality and what you regard as yourself being and, and things like that in terms of nationality. Alfag, thanks for the sub. Thank you very much. I've got the game. Love a Pudlian. Publian? Says Sean. Is better than Scouser. What? You can't even. Does this fall under no politics? Almost falls under politics. Let's check out this game, everybody. Did someone mention the pub? Bin Spectrum Treat. No, I know we want maybe quizzes and things like that, but I, w I want to play this. I want to see what happens. Don't worry. I know some of you are going like that. Let me just know about the game. I always don't really want to play the game. You know, let's just start chatting and do that. I want to play it. I want to see what happens. I like games. Mitch, thanks for the sub. Moving home from Wales to England next week to live with partner. Devastated that some people will consider me English. Listen, this is not an anti-English uh, channel, all right? Got most of the people in here are English. The fleet, thanks for the sub. We're still connected. That's a good sign. From here on, if we're going to make any progress, it's important not to break any patterns, to not draw attention. Oh no, act natural. Is this where we left off? Ah, good morning. I hope you had a restful sleep, and I do apologise for the disturbance. Hopefully you recall requesting this wake-up call. 
think it's just a wee more wet on top of it. And while we iron out one or two technical difficulties, I hope you don't mind this somewhat personal touch. Breakfast is being served in our restaurant downstairs. I'll let the host know you're on your way. Uh, and please, enjoy your stay. Good. I think you got away with that one. Head down to the restaurant as before. We have to get this cycle started before we try to subvert it. Sorry, that was uh, overly technical. Um, the hotel runs to a specific timetable based on fulfilling your basic physical needs. In the morning you have to feed, at night you have to rest. Until you do these things, the hotel sort of stops and waits until you complete these actions, even if they seem a bit, well, arbitrary. It's just how this place was built. So I think this is in my mind, maybe, or it's a matrixy sort of thing, or um, wait a minute. You seem keen to use the elevator. I'm sorry to say you'll have to wait a little longer. Although, if you wish to visit the roof, that area is strictly off limits for your safety. Oh, really? Right, the roof. I've got to the roof as soon as possible. The restaurant. Oh, here we go. So, in case you, you, you've missed it... Oh, look! Look! In case you've missed it... Baby... Uh, I'm being held captive here, but it's, I don't think it's like a real place, and there's somebody trying to help me. Um, and there's something to do with my family. I was kind of, it was kind of spoiled for me in a way. Um, there's possibly some sort of bereavement or illness to do with my Wayne or something like that, just in case anybody's a bit sensitive to stuff like that. And I was told because Daniel was kind of, seemed to be quite ill about a year ago or something. Um, but it was all right. It turned out it was like, fuck all, really. And I was warned, just to let you know, this has got some sort of, like, child sort of bereavement or illness or something. So, like, it might, I don't know, um, hurt my feelings in some sort of way, but... So I didn't play it, I was got... I didn't play it, I think it would have been fine, but it might, it might have been a bit fucking... not no fine, in a way, but... But I don't, I don't actually know what happened, so just to warn you, I'm, I'm getting a warning like some fucking horrific is coming up, but um, I don't think so. I think it's just, you know, just general, like you get with a lot of games or some sort of kind of sad thing. Wait, 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 wait. Where's the, where's it? Is the restaurant downstairs? I can't fucking remember. James in total, Blue Thunder, the fleet. Thanks for the subs. Is it is? A very good morning. Right, so it's a puzzle game. In case you didn't watch yesterday. We. What's that? Why be told to act natural? Because, um, I've to, I think I've to act like nothing's out of the ordinary because this person that I'm speaking to via this fucking phone thing is going to get me out of here somehow. So, I've to. Good morning. Your reserved table is ready when you are. And please mind your step. Seems that Mr. Crow left in something of a hurry. It could be something like I've experienced some sort of bereavement. And maybe I have chosen to enter some sort of state of um, relaxation or something like... No, no, no quite like antidepressants or something, but maybe some sort of future techno technological escape. The fact it's called the Spectrum Retreat 
some sort of escape. Yes, I know that antidepressants are an escape. I have taken antidepressants in just in case somebody's going to say that. But, um, but it could be some sort of technical black mirror like where you're getting away from it all for a while. And I've maybe um, locked myself in for like a year. Or maybe I've been in here for fucking ages and somebody's trying to help me to get out. Possibly, I don't know. And this won't, they won't let me out. So in order to hack into it to get me out, I've got to do these sort of puzzle things, which is um, overriding the safety or security measures. Possibly. Where's the fucking restaurant again? This is the restaurant. This is the fucking restaurant. We've got to sit at that receipt that says reserved. Eggs Benedict again. There's something there. Hello there. This is Nurse Armstrong from St. Luke's School. Again. I have to tell you that poor little Robin has had a terrible fever since arriving this morning. It'd be best if someone could collect him. He should be at home. Example of uh, arsehole. I hope everything is to your liking. Yes. Oh, you should get going. I don't know how long you'll have access to floor two. <laughs> That's if you have access Shh. to floor two. I am. Um... Oh, damn it. I have to go get to the elevator. Left. Floor two. Daydream, thanks for the sub. Leafy Leaf thinks it's turn a bits. You look like the cartoon character Roger Klotz. Somebody said on TikTok. Biggins, James, oh, thanks for subs. Oh, let's just say you're not the only one keeping up appearances. Where is the lift? Where is the lift again? Wait a minute, can I get in here? What's that? That's that same one, right. In here? Upstairs for a lift into it. Um, Roger Klotz. Right, hold on then. Let me see. Do this in case it's something dodgy. For example, a porn star. I'm getting set up. ABP, always be para. See, this has got a kind of wet white at this this stuff. So it makes me look even bolder than usual, which is fine. Which is fine. I do see the resemblance, especially... Yeah. Yeah. Now you're a bit. Make Bob thinks this up. What did you think of Days Gone? I liked it. I liked it. I not think it's pure brilliant. It was nice to, it just sort of nice chipping away at it and it was quite relaxing, really. Constable Fraser. Uh, Jambo, thanks. Thank you very much. Nearly a fucking, nearly a year. A year and a half. Obviously, a bus it challenge on your TikTok. What's that? Bus it challenge. Let me, let me, hold on. Let me see. Is this something that I want to be searching for? Is it bus it or bussy? What is it? How do you spell it? Bus it that. Right, IT. I thought it was ET I was seeing. Saying. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Boosie. I thought. It, I thought they were. I thought they were typing like Boofy or something. Uh, boss it. Is it some sort of sexual thing. Uh, 
Uh, oh, was this Viral Dance Complex, some website? Uh, did, 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 did. Right, I accept all the cookies, yep. Right. The challenge which uses Texas rapper Erica Banksy's song Boss It is simple and fun to pull off. It takes two different outfits, some of video. Da, 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 da. Um twerking skills. Hurry up, tell me what the fuck it is. Right. Fucking you know, paragraph, 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 ad. Paragraph par Right, what right, right. Right. Oh I see. Right. Involves participants recording two videos, one where they're in regular clothes, usually sweatpants, and another when they're dressed up. Participants start by dancing along the sample. Now it's hot in here in regular clothes. After the song says, I, th I think my butt getting big, participants drop down low, which signals a transition to a different cut of them dolled up and twerking Erica Banks. Right, 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 I see. Right, hold on. Right, you kind of see this, but... It's just the reaction I have to these sorts of things. Snot has come right out my... Uh, I blow snot has right out my nose. Kim Justice, I mean Bob thinks the subs. Who exposed Lemmy? I was getting all of this fucking stuff. I, I was... See the stuff I was getting on, on TikTok. It was like that that sort of stuff like automatically re recommended and then other things are like fucking um vet fucking stuff vets like uh then what almost appeared to be like a fucking cesarean fucking section on a dog or something. I was like what what like and then something like that. Some sort of twerking fucking thing, another one animals. I'm like, right, I don't know what I've fucking looked at before, but I'm getting recommended it. So I had to basically go like, hod down, I had to look it up, how to tailor your, you know, what you want. And you've got to hod down on the video, and then you say not interested, you've got to hod down on another video, not interested, hod down another one, not interested. I was getting recommended, I wouldn't say unpleasant things, but I was getting recommended lots of things that people were saying unpleasant things about those people in the comments and things like that. I was like, what, what the fuck is this? So, not interested, not interested. And new, all I'm getting new is like, um, people doing funny things, like or jump in air things, or funny wee things with cats and dogs and stuff like that. Like, did somebody caught the comments on TikTok with some... I can only go next. It's fucking brutal, but... Plus, I thanks for the sub. Shout out to all those fighting landlords and crony letting agents. Big shout out. Kim Justice, McBob. Thanks again for the subs. You just want all the dads. No, but just, I want upbeat stuff. I don't want downers. don't want downer fucking stuff, but... um. Right, here we go. Here we go. I w one thing. Fuck this more. One thing I realised when I did that TikTok, and me doing the sort of dancing, the sort of thing, and the winking and, and the, the, the kissing. Some people were saying, "Oh, I was cringing. I couldn't watch this." And it was like, you know, some people for here. And I was like, "That's right. I've not done." uncomfortable, maybe borderline sexual embarrassing stuff for quite a while. And I think people who are maybe used to watching me here don't know that that's what I'm all about. That's what I'm all about. That's my bread and butter. So I used to do, you know, pretend that they have a wank on Vine and, um, and the pictures are posted with uh, naked with my fake cock and um, things like that and then there's a picture I did was like seven of me shagging me and things like that That's, I, lo I love doing things like that because it's 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 easy and it's fun and it's creepy 
and it's it's unpleasant. I like I like it. Um, I love doing all that. It's so easy to use your body for to get a reaction in other people, and that's what it's all about. Light-hearted. No, I don't mean. I don't mean people going. This is really make me uncomfortable. I mean, you shouldn't be doing this. I don't mean that. I'm just aware. Like, oh, shit, I've not done this for a while. And all I was then was doing that stupid wee dance and uh, sort of blowing kisses. I thought this is fucking like tame as fuck compared to the stuff. You know, remember that? Remember the? In fact, was it on Justin TV or was it YouTube? Uh, the Hogmanay where I pretended to. No switch the the webcam off and hog Marie and had a had a wank with the fake cock. What was that? Was that was that YouTube? <laughs> was that YouTube or was that Justin TV? YouTube, probably YouTube. I think Justin TV even. Uh, YouTube, I sort of gone down and, and licking it and all that. Where were the days there? The spit was still. Oh, was the spit? I was maybe licking it. I just might be licking it at the end of it. Toddy and Riker lunge. Thanks for the subs. Thanks again. I think it's because you're 50. I can't, st I can't fucking stop. I've got to... If anything, uh, me being, let's say, 47 now, and no being when I made, let's say, that picture, that orgy, kind of picture that I did. Um, I did that when I was maybe that picture... When I was about 27, so like 20 years ago, if anything, the age, exactly Hannah, being older, I can use that, that it amplifies it, it makes it more cringy, it makes it more, you shouldn't be doing this, and that's the sort of thing I like to do, the kind of, it, it's, it's, I, I use it in my fucking, uh, use it in my favour. Like, no having the body or the look or the, the youth or whatever and then doing it makes it horrible to watch. Which is what I, what, what I like. Roscoe thinks the sub. Don't let them trick you, big man. Every day watching your stream is sexually uncomfortable and hard to watch. Cheers, my man. Huh? Thank you very much. See, but, uh... Boss. Bossy, oh... Bussy. Bussy. I don't know what the fuck it was. Boss it. Somebody said, somebody said B U S S I T, one word. B U S S I T, one word. Didn't say boss it. Said that. So. So. Boss says something different. Oh, is it? Oh, don't say boot pussy. Right. What is it meant to be a mix of like butt and pussy or something? Boy pussy. Right. Get it now. Boy. Right, what's going on here? Open up. Um, no, I think this is actually a my normal browser one. No, don't even fucking say it. Don't even. Don't even say. Well, no, no, no. Just as long as it's it's words. It's just words. In private. Type that, but then the Urban Dictionary, so you're more likely to get just a description. <laughs> right. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. Oh, okay, that's fine. Right. 
Right. Right. Right. Okay, that's fine. I, I thought it, I thought it was I thought it was something kinda dodgy. But it's no. It was like the boy the boy thing that, that you know that I didn't like the sound of. Right. Okay. I can't stay on the line. Get to the elevator quickly. Oh shit, where am I? Oh, I have to go upstairs. It's not nonsense. I know, it's just just what I check. You know how it is with certain certain words that you think means this that it doesn't. Uh, where the fuck am I? Oh, it's this way. The more I have to ask, the more I'm risking. Elevator, go. Can you please give me longer than 10 seconds for the last time you've said to get the thing done, please? Thank you. Right, uh, where am I? Right, it's this way. Did I stutter? Why don't you right. fucking let me just... Truth. Mr. B thinks it's up. Here we go. Yes. Puzzle team. Uh, good, good. The credentials are surviving the daily reset, and so far, it seems you are too. I'm glad I could be here for the historic let me discover this bloody place. Uh, there should Lucy, be Lucy. another access point up here. I hope they need to use... Have I reached that age? I just need to double check here. Have I reached that age where some of yous look at me and not just see me as older looking, kind of 47 or whatever, if you're younger, but you actually, and because of my dad, and kind of that dad age, dad bod the lot, do you see me as like um, kind of like a, of a kind of prudish age or something, or the sort of age where I shouldn't have been knowing about these things or something like that? New to the internet? I'm the fucking internet. What do you mean new? Like, do you know I know at all? Just wondering. Because I'm just, I just sometimes, like I was saying before, I don't, I don't say sexual stuff or do any sort of sexual, sexually explicit stuff or anything like that because of the Twitch TOS. Know that I'm going to anyway, know that I'm going to start having a fucking wank on the camera or anything, but there's certain, certain, certain things I would say or do or, or anything like that that I just out of habit now, don't do on Twitch. Uh, certain things I don't talk about, but you know, like, I can, like, sort of stuff I tweet about all the time, and it's almost fucking bled into the, the, the Twitter stuff that I almost feel that it would be out of character for me not to be the same sort of person I'm on Twitch. Uh, and and be, out of, be out of character for me to, like, be a different sort of person on Twitter. It's almost like it's infected me. And I thought, am I starting to gain an audience where people... And I'm like, no, no, you've got stuff. You've got this. It exists. People can still see it. It's not like people are like, I didn't know you used to do things like that. And I don't mean like offensive stuff. I mean stuff to do with myself or the things I talk about me or... I like the book. Like my book. Probably like say wanking or... Or cocks and fannies and arses and you know all sorts of things like that and, and spunk and I was going to say a term that I'm not going to say. <laughs> uh, you know things like that. So, so I kind of sense myself that much. I was going to say that the, the you know the, the fanny equivalent of uh, uh, spunk, uh, FB is their initials. I want to say it on here. Maybe it's just a Scottish thing, but. Like, you know, things like that. Do you know, Alice, do you know what I'm talking about? Aye, that's me. 
I've not, I've not heard that for fucking ages. I've not heard that one for ages, aye. <laughs> Uh, Jham, thanks for the sub. Fucking vile. That's what I, I, I love all these these words, and I've I remember saying certain things like, oh, no, I'll move on, I'll move on." But because I'm ready, I'm ready to say it right now, and I'm like, "Is that TOS? Is that TOS? Is that TOS? Is that TOS? Is that TOS?" Um. Also, will me saying that then cause people to say certain things in the chat? And just sit, kind of cross the line a wee bit, maybe. Like if I, I, I'm not. Like if I say something, it's not even that fucking edgy, you know. It's, it's, it's fuck all. It's nothing. It's nothing. But if I say something, I feel that I'm maybe saying something that's kind of right at the edge. I say TOS, possibly. I don't know. Like that. Then people in the chat who maybe don't care about that because they're not going to get fucking banned. Will only go right. So you're. That's at the edge, right? We've not to go beyond that. People will sort of, on average, go beyond it, before it, beyond that edge. And so they'll say something that's maybe a wee bit too much for here. No, for, no for me, but for here. And then they'll get timed out a band or whatever. And, you know, it's it just... It's for the sake of just keeping things orderly. Daniel, thanks for the sub. I mean, the first thing I ever found out was the... Because that's not me. That's not me. Mega... I mean, that is not, it's literally not me. I don't mean that's not me anymore. I mean, it's literally that wasn't me. Mega Patel, I think it's the sub. Right. A seat that is not really there. Oh, right. Right, so let's take a right. I normally go left. Remember to look for anything that distinctly stands out. You're looking for another keypad. Okie dokie. So remember, we're not looking for, is there something in there? We're looking for a big fucking sign with a big fucking number on it. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. Big gigantic obvious as fuck thing that you cannot miss. Go all the way around. Hug the right. There was that fake chair, I know. Obvious as fuck thing. Obvious as fuck. Ooh, I am getting some strange readings here. Hold your phone out in front of you. Could it be this? Could it... Could it be this? That's weird. The Your phone scans what? these clue assets, letting me see them, and if I can see them, that means they're on the system, but Not this all isn't like any them. of the hint keys that get left for QA. Oh, worry about that later, I guess. Um, if what you've scanned is legit, then somewhere in this godforsaken place, someone makes a note of the weather. Find them. I'll monitor your progress. The weather is... The weather is not all he will take note of. Uh, Emma Thompson, I can't believe they managed to get her. Hug the right. Keep an eye on things. Acidity, thank you very much. Thanks for the sub. I can't believe they managed to get Emma Thompson. That's great, isn't it? That's Emma Thompson. Mm-hmm. Dame Baroness Thompson herself. Look for something dead fucking obvious. Oh, I still have to find this weather person. Or have I also... Did I come that way? I can't remember. Uh, I'll, go, I'll go to the right. A weather person, everybody. Look, whoever it is you need to find... Just give me a wee... No one up here. So, I'll head for the lobby now, I guess. Oh, right. Thank, thanks. No, that is actually helpful. That actually is helpful. Look at that fucking race. Look at that. That's where the money goes. 
into the fucking graphics card so you can see that. Look. Look at that, man. Look at that. That's in real time. Look at the god rays. Graphics card cost me almost a fucking grand, man. So we could get that. So that I could get that on stream for you. Put that on screen. Oh uh, yeah. I remember being in a discussion with a production company many years ago. Well, kinda many years ago. Um, talking about some sketch thing I was to make a video thing. It wasn't like let me show. It was like some other kind of one-off sort of thing, and I think I was offered a certain amount of money to make it. The channel, the channel gets the production company to make it, gives them money to the production company, and then the production company agrees with whoever it is, the writer or whatever, how much money they're going to take and all the rest of it. So the more money you take, the less money there is for the production company and for the actual budget of the thing and all the rest of it. And I'm just thinking about how I said, oh, you're getting to see this on screen, um, the money, you see the money on screen. Um, I remember, it might have been before I had an agent. Possibly, but I, I think I said something like, oh, was it, was it a day with Let Me Show? Or was it something else? I can't remember what the fuck it was. Um, and, I, they wanted to take quite a, quite a cut or, I don't know, I want you to take some, like, more money or whatever because they're not going to offer you the fucking best that you can get. And it's before I had an agent, I think, to be the go-between. I think, maybe. No, maybe, maybe though, maybe though. But, or they phoned me directly, even though I did have an agent, but they said, it's just that, you know, the, the production company, it's just that, you know, the more money, you, you know, you take for that, that we, we want the less money you're going to see on screen, I think it's important to get, you know, make sure th the money's seen on screen, you know, like that. Um, you don't want to be taken away for that. Basically, what they were saying was the channel has given us a budget and the amount of money you take for writing and being in it, then the less money we get for producing it and we're going to use the terminology uh, it's just that you know you don't want to you know want to put as much of that budget on screen as possible you want to put as much of that budget on screen I don't think they really give a fuck about that I think they're just thinking um, well if you take all that money we're not really getting a lot and fuck that you know like that um, what are you waffling for Night machine, you just go, just go away. You'll get that. I'm just, it's just kind of almost a wee bit of advice for any budding writers, actors, uh, performers, or whatever you, you want to call yourself. That you'll get these cunts using all sorts of words and all that, and all sorts of um, no trickery, but. Ways are basically making you get the 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 least amount of money possible. What was that? What was that I read the other day? Um, the film. I think the screenwriter, possibly, or director, possibly the screenwriter. I can't remember of Bohemian Rhapsody. The film. I think I could be getting mixed up here, but basically, Bohemian Rhapsody, the film, has made a fifty million dollar loss, despite it taking in a lot of money. Ticket sales, as in you know, like uh, cinema ticket sales, all that. Hollywood accounting that they've no really made a loss. They actually made a lot of fucking money, but what the production companies and all these, all that, 
lot day Hollywood and everything is that writers and certain performers or whatever will only get a cut of the profit. They did that. I think I think they did that with the writer. Uh, um, I think they did that with the writer uh, um, Forrest Gump. I think they did that with him. They did the Hollywood accountant sort of thing where basically we're going we're going to give you a percentage of the profit. That means that if this takes off, you're going to be you know like. Like a million, millions with us. But what the day is, they go, oh, um, to uh, to hire that person making the tea cost a hundred grand, and uh, there's also the cost of the lights, five grand. That's not what happened to that, by the way. My story. Um, so basically, boom, 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 boom. All the money goes through the production company. They take a cut of everything that is um, that is spent. Like the production company would say, "I, you know, like like like, I it cost an absolute fortune for this that didn't really cost a fortune, but they can charge what they want." The production company can say, um, "To make those graphics which we made in house, uh, we charge a hundred grand." to make this pink cup look blue. So that costs a hundred grand. So, you know, that had to get paid for. And this had to get paid for, and that had to get paid for until there's nay fucking, um, there's nay profit. And then the writer gets fuck all. Like that. So, I think they're saying that Bohemian Rhapsody, despite taking in a lot of money, made 50 million loss purely through some sort of possible Hollywood accounting sort of thing. So, in the same sort of way, a lot of these production companies, I think, here, no, no, not even Hollywood, I was never involved, I've never been that. I'm not a big shot, but just keep your eyes and your ears open. Get an agent. Get an agent. Get an agent. Two slice hilly. Sir Dward and I'm Lamb K. Thanks for subs. Thank you very much. Ball bag. Thanks for the sub. You're welcome at entertainment. You know, you know when you go like that, honestly, you've not got an agent, and this is what I did. They say it's just pretty standard contract. It's just standard that I... I mean, you're not ripping me off for it like that. <laughs> no. It's just standardised. That's everything we get. I know one lot, one sketch lot for the past Scottish lot and I heard that this deal that they got, what they signed, they got fuck all for the, the, the DVDs and the videos. Nothing. Basically got ripped off. Um, because you, you don't check, you know, it's like, no, 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 before, no, no, no in my, no in my era, no like me, Burnus and Tank Commander, that kind of, us at the same time, not before. Um, so don't, don't think they'll do the right thing. Don't trust people to just do the right thing and give you what you're, you, you deserve. Kiko Flame 62 on bits. Carol Pilkington's idiot. Bro, I didn't watch it, I didn't have Sky. I didn't watch it. It's a sketch. Sketch lot, more about. Right, so. What's it? Right, so go here. Back down. Trust any con. Don't trust any con. That's my fucking advice. I 
I remember somebody saying that to me ages ago when I was in my teens. It was today with something else though. It was today with like the bars and piracy and things like that. It was a guy that was chanting to kinda online, but I sort of knew it and he said don't trust anyone. I think it's I think he was into fucking X Files or all. Is that not something? Is that not a weekend kind of thing in X Files? Um And I thought that was very sad. Not that he was into the X Files. But I thought it was very sad to um to have that attitude of no trusting anybody. But I think what they meant, in fact they were probably teenagers or not, they probably didn't they probably actually meant nay cunt. But I would say, especially you younger folk, if I've got to give you a bit of advice here. By the boatyard, thanks for the sub. I've just said it. See the cunts that you're pals with right now. I'm not saying lock yourself up. Don't tell anybody anything. It's good to be able to tell some people some secrets and tell them things about yourself and all that. And uh, trust people confide in people and all the rest of it but just know something and this is a something I would say to Daniel when he gets a bit older see the cunts that you're your best pals are right now that you're almost in love with like in a relationship you think that you'll never break up this is forever this these same cunts could easily a year down the line Two years down the line, six months down the line, no be your pal anymore, and might even be your enemy. I don't mean like in a film, a fucking enemy or something like that, but you might fall out. There might be a misunderstanding and a falling out, and then sides get taken, and fucking the nukes start fucking flying through the air. Do you know what I mean? And you are, you want to make sure that doesn't fucking happen. You want to make sure you've got nothing that can get used against you. You want to make sure that you've got a fucking nuclear deterrent as well. And things like that. But it's better off not having a fucking nuclear deterrent because then you've got to use the bastard and thing and then everybody's fucked. But I would say to a lot of people, see anybody that you're pal away online and all the rest of it, just whatever you say, say it with a, say it with the knowledge that there's a chance that this might be getting screenshotted and shown to somebody or quoted or um, used against you or shared or your trust betrayed or Something like that. And that hasn't happened to me for fucking ages, right? So it's not like I'm not talking about some sort of recent thing that's happened. That's not how I can't even rem remember when it's happened, but um, it always be fucking para. Some that you could be saying something to somebody, uh, private messages and stuff like that, right? Having a chat, having a chat with somebody else. That person, that other person, their phone might get compromised. They might leave their fucking phone somewhere and it isn't locked. The lock, the fuck, the fucking code is one, two, three, four. If they their number thing, they might show what you're what you're saying to somebody else that's next to them, and they'll think it's a big deal. That person they're showing it might fall out with your pal, and then might then tell people what you said. There's all sorts of ways that it can all work out against you. It could be anything. It could be you calling somebody um, that you publicly like maybe and you actually do like, but you sort of criticise them for a wee moment for something that they did two days ago. I didn't like what they said there, a bit of an arsehole for saying that. That can then get twisted into they think that person, I think that person's an arsehole, let's say. And then... With that misunderstanding, that person who then knows something about me or whatever, or they call me an arsehole, they're the one who said, and then that gets shown, and that gets shown, before you fucking know it, 
There's nukes flying everywhere. So fucking what? It's all right for you, Sub George. You've got nothing to lose. Because you're right down there. Pond life, right? But I'm right up there, mate. Bracey thinks to turn a bit. <laughs> I'm only kidding, mate. With friends like these, who needs enemies? It's just, you're just, it's just insurance. That's all. Rusty, thanks for the sub. Rory. Low hanging vegetables, zookies. Craig vs. Believer, thanks to subs. Keep up, keep, don't stop believing, Craig vs. Believer. So I'm just talking about, I say, I regularly say to the people that I maybe have a gossip with, get this fucking wiped. Get this wiped. And I want to see proof of it. I want to see all that sh shite wiped and I'll wipe all my stuff. Get this fucking wiped. This could get hacked. If any of this gossip comes out, we're fucked. None of this must be public. You know, I like having a wee bit of gossip and a bit of moan and saying wee things and stuff like that. Shit like that gets out. Just keep wiping. Say your thing and wipe it right away. Wait, weird pun. No, I know you, Funk Devoid, just that person who said it. Um, and I'm joking about me being up there in point life. I mean, every cunt, every cunt. But just whatever you're going to say, just know that, right, what I'm saying here could get out for reasons I don't quite, I can't quite envisage. I can't quite imagine what would happen to make this, what I'm saying here, somehow get shown to this person or that person or something like that. It could, be, it could be a wee snide remark or something, or some a wee snide thing, and about a few hours later, you kind of go, oh, I shouldn't have said that. That was, uh, was a bit nasty or something like that. But um, you want to get a chance to say, I'm sorry, I knew what I said was kind of snide. Uh, you want to have a chance to fucking say that. We secrets, confiding people. Honestly, as much as, it, as, much as you can, don't tell any kind of man. Don't tell any cunt in man. Who hurt you, bro? Fucking every cunt. But that's not to say be one of these right how to win friends and influence people or any sort of Machiavellian sort of um, one should never do this and one to retain power, one should always do that. Make sure that out in your enemies and make sure your friends and keep your friends... Like, you live everything by this wee fucking rule book, like a fucking robot, one of these right dickhead sort of people. It's good to say things and maybe have your trust betrayed and it all fuck up and it's all a mess. It's no that bad a thing sometimes, but, you know, it can be better to kind of make yourself vulnerable, to make yourself a bit vulnerable rather than lock yourself up like a fucking vault um, but that's my wee um, that's my wee bit of advice it's, uh, why did why did I get onto that how did I get onto that how did I get onto that I, I started saying don't trust anyone Um, how did I get onto it Hollywood, I I was I started with production companies. I don't just think because somebody's like nice and they've been really friendly with you, say a production company or whatever it is you might be doing. Somebody's been all nice and all that, that that means everything's going to be fine. In terms of business and work and stuff like that. Um, it'd be professional. Keep things professional. People respect you if you if you keep things professional. I trust far too easy, even pure fake niceness. I fall for because I want to think the best of cunt says Dando. See the I think I spoke about this before, but see the um there's a a woman 
she, something Disney. She's one of the Disney's, and I think I spoke about this before, but there was an interview and she's fucking loaded, and she's in a managerial sort of position. She's either I don't know. She's not like the the the, the head. I think she's the head of the a section of Disney or something, and she says that I day encounter people who only really want to know me for uh, the money or the power or the, the ability to make things happen for them, possibly. And I used to, I think she said she used to, she got ripped off, no ripped off, but just kind of betrayed or she just found out. No, no pure classic, I just found out who my friends were. But she just realised that and then it made her, I think, be a bit more mistrusting of people. But I think she said she maybe came to a decision at some point to just basically no live like that. No live like no trusting people. Do they only like me because of this? Do they only like me because of that? Is that the only reason why they're speaking to me? Is that the only reason why this person hangs about with me or whatever it is? She's just, she does the one to just know have no trust in people. So she kind of almost just lives a life out fucking normally and just almost writes it off as a tax. Almost. Like tax. Like 20% tax. I'm just going to go about, live my life. Uh, if somebody's nice to me, I'll be nice back. If they want something, if they know, if I don't really know what they want, I'm not going to be suspicious and all that. I'm just going to let it happen, in a sense. And if, like, a fifth of those people are full of fucking shit and just want to use me, I'll just write it off as almost like a 20% friendship fucking tax that a, a fifth of the people that I think are kind of my pals or whatever on me and just go, oh, well, rather than, like, completely... Um, locking yourself up and not letting anybody in. Which I quite like. I quite like. I don't know if she said 20%. But um it's kind it's kinda of like it's no it's not quite like me and and my position. There will there will be some people, I think, who maybe think that um I can help them in some sort of way. Or maybe pal with me or something because I can maybe help them in some sort of way. I don't know with streaming or I can't be with the telly stuff anyway because I don't do any fucking telly stuff. But like maybe raiding or tweeting something or something like that. But and I know that sounds a bit conceited, like when you think you're that much a big shot that you're like you think you're this Disney woman and like you're all powerful and you can really make things happen. But you do, you do sometimes wonder about people, but at the same time, I don't fucking care. I don't really care. Apparently it's an ADHD thing, rejection sensitive. Oh, I've got a, a right rejection, very, very sensitive to rejection. And I'm a people pleaser. Like, um, if somebody says... If somebody says, oh, this person said this thing or did this thing or this thing isn't good enough or something, I'm like, what is it? How, what, 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 was, what was said? And, right, what can I do to make it better? And Which I, I fucking like. But sometimes I'm like, I know, but what, what, right, so what about that? And what about this? And then if two people who appear to both be right or both have, have contradictory views, but both of them are kind of right, and I'm somehow in the middle of that, then I'm, it's kind of borderline fucking meltdown. Stuff like, many times I've like binned Discord, binned whole things, no played games with any cunt. Because, or like fucking deleted all this or blocked all these people or unfollowed all these people on Twitch or Twitter. Because there's this one wee fucking thing that I don't want to deal with because I can't be fucked with it because it's fucking stressful. I'm like, what, 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 what did I do? Did I go this way? Did I go that way? And I'm just like, here's one way to go, fuck every cunt. I'm away. Like that. Which is a bit childish, but it works. Um, 
I kind of I kind of flip flop quite a lot between flip flop shows kind of indecision. It's no, it's almost like I go I go kind of extremes. Right, I said I'm just going to sort of like unfollow all the people and just sort of like find some new people. No, like leave them in the past, but to just sort of like refresh the fucking head and and not get caught up in all this sort of stuff and. Get a bit of perspective because I feel that I'm I'm seeing the same faces all the time, the same people, and I'm getting caught up in them. Right, this is th these twenty people or whatever are the only people that matter. Nobody else matters, and it sort of fucked me my head a wee bit. Like I want to get merry a variety of things going on in my fucking head and experiences and all that, and then I go and check out things and end up fucking going back and. It's sometimes just kind of good to, uh, for me anyway, to go like to myself, look, this is the sort of cunt you are, right? This is the sort of cunt you are. Rather than going, how can I just find this perfect version of me? How can I find, right, good, finally, I've walked me out, right, this is what I've got to do. So it's the same as like your, your diets or your exercise shit or, right, that's it, I'm going to name a chocolate for me. That's it, name a toast for me. Bread really gets me bloated and, right, that's it, I'm going to get out, out on the bike all the fucking time now. I'm, that's it, all the time. And I'm going to go on about it. And then I just go like that, ah, fuck it, and I don't go on the bike for about a week. Or I go like that, fuck it, and start getting torn into the chocolate. I just have to accept, and I've said this before, I just have to kind of accept, you're the sort of cunt that fucking, you've got trouble with, um, um, kind of plain sailing, you've got trouble with, um, I don't know, a consistency, a certain sort of consistency, I mean, see like, see like coming on here, ne uh, half nine, to half one, but half nine, I really want to fucking be here on the dot, usually, and doing this, this is my job, I'm coming here every day and I don't want to take any fucking days off and it really matters to me. It matters to me because it's like my job now. It matters to me because you are here and you want me to be here and I want to be here with you and I want to play games. Um, But I make sure I need to, I want to uh, do this. Um, But, see in terms of my interpersonal stuff, and I don't know if it's, I'm not going to keep saying it's possibly ADHD, possible autism, possibly ADHD, possible autism, because I've said that quite a bit and I don't know and I'm going to be diagnosed or anything. But my interpersonal stuff is fucking mental. And it always has been. And it always will be. That's the way I look at it. I just got to come to fuck, uh, be at peace with that. My relationships with other human beings are fucking mental. And it's so mental, even I know, even I know that it's mental. And I'm the one who's experiencing it. You, you'd expect you don't quite notice it. But just like somebody says the wrong thing, um, if somebody's too nice to me, if I'm too nice to them and I don't get that same niceness back, if they're too nice to me and I don't feel that I can return that niceness, if they message too much or say things too much, if they don't say enough, if they say it at the wrong time, if I said it at the wrong time, all sorts of things like that. I know everybody experiences all that sort of stuff. You could you could say this. It's almost like stand-up comedy, observational comedy. You say something like that and everybody will all oh, piss themselves laughing. Oh, I thought that was just me. I think most people are like that in some way. But you get a lot of people who just like say, see, Lynn, Lynn is fucking no like that. I so man, all this sort of stuff, she's just no like that at all. Lynn is very much a sort of, she does what she wants person. She'll be in some sort of group chat, like a neighbourhood group chat and just go, this is fucking shit, she just leave. she just leave. Um, she's like that, oh, no bother about it at all. And she's the sort of person I said, what, what, what are we going to say about such and such? If they get in touch, what are we going to say if they just, just say to them that? Can I kind of just say that? I don't know. 
Because then they'll be like that, so. I right, enough. I know, but. I know, but. I don't know. I, I think we, we Lynn, she's got a foundation of um, no really caring what people think of her. That much. I mean, a certain, everybody's got certain sides to them that are not confident about this or that or whatever, but she doesn't really care that much about what people think of her. And if you've got that, then all these other fucking things kind of work out. You're no worried about no turning up to a thing that you were asked to go to or leaving a thing or telling the truth to somebody or saying you're unhappy about a certain thing because at the very core of you, you don't care that much about what they think of you and, that, that, and you can be more assertive in that sort of way. And uh, it can make you happier. And I'm kind of like the, the sort of the opposite. Despite how much I might come across, how much I might come across as a cunt, and you know, fucking dick like that. So fucking being cheeky to people, I still fucking care. I want to make sure I'm doing the fucking right thing. Have I said the right thing? Am I doing the right thing? Um, how did that come across and things like that? Do I be a uh, come across I when I say come across I mean there's things that I genuinely want to improve about myself as time fucking goes on I might not want to be the cunt that I was I want to be something better I don't want to be out of step I don't want to say the wrong thing I don't want to know or think the wrong thing um, I don't want to uh, think that this was right and then later on, go come to the, the realisation and the genuine realisation that I was wrong about something and it took me fucking ages to to realise that. I want to know as quickly as possible uh, what the truth is. And then there's, and then there's another side uh, where I say come across is there's the way I might word something, the way, am I, was that was that too harsh? Did I, did I say something in a short way and that sounds like I don't care? When I was just um, being kind of brief. You know, things like that. Um, so... So why? So Jamie, Jamie Kennedy experiment... Football, thanks for the sub. Thank you very much. Reedy, Boomtown Ross, thanks for the subs. My mate came second in a Winston Churchill lookalike competition. He was close, but no cigar. <laughs> anyway, all the best, big man. Very good. <laughs> that is a good one. <laughs> no, that's a good one. That's a fucking... I'm going to remember that. I'm going to remember that to tell... Daniel, for his next Halloween joke. Very good. Very good. Uh, Jenksy, thanks for the three quid. Big shout to my pal and your favourite mod, Livy, who's celebrating his big birthday. Livy, is it your birthday? Sandbrook, thanks for the sub. Can you give a shout out to my mate Sally? who had just lost her job feeding the giraffes at the zoo. She just wasn't up to it. <laughs> oh, why are these so fucking good, man? Why are these so fucking good? <laughs> oh, brilliant. Fucking excellent. <laughs> Such and thanks to the sub. What's the protocol with the VIPs at these days? I've lost two now and I'm wondering if it's worth getting the third or setting, settling down and saving for a house. <laughs> oh, you're actually right, top of VIPs. Um, the the VIPs, <laughs> the VIPs. Uh, there's only a hundred VIP slots. There's only a hundred VIP slots. 
So once we had reached that limit and I go to add another one, it says you've reached your maximum. So I've got to delete un-VIP previous VIPs, otherwise we're full. So what I do is I go to the oldest VIPs, the VIPs who got VIP'd the longest ago, and I get rid of the longest ago, the oldest 10 at a time. So that's what happens. And on average, people remain a VIP for about three to four months. Peng one and Paul Wilson, thanks for subs. Concord, thank you very much for the sub. It has slowed down. It has slowed down a wee bit. I thought it would actually speed up. I thought it would be like... Um, like, as time goes on and people just save up more and more channel points, that at some point... Everybody would just suddenly be VIPs, but it's a million fucking channel points. What have I do again? Hello there. You know, I do believe the weather might actually be on the mend. Oh! Speaking of dry spells, I trust you'll be attending the big show this evening. Yes. Hold on, did he mention the weather? He did. He's a weather person. Uh huh. The show. Right? Um, hi there. His office is by the ballroom. See what you can find. Thank you. It's by the ballroom. Right. Thanks. I just thought that interpersonal fucking stuff. It does my fucking box, and that's why uh, I do things like unfollow people, and it's not because I hate them. It's not like that. Unfollow people, I need to no see certain people, um, or whole groups of people. I do these mad fucking things. Uh, right. Ah, oh, fuck. It's, it's, it's almost equivalent to you're all out in the night out, and then you just decide, fuck it, and you go to the toilet and you go, I'm not actually going to the toilet, and you leave. You just, you just go. You just fucking leave. Like that. You just bugger off. Like that. Um, and then you go like that. They're going to think I'm a right fucking dick. But it's good to be able to just go, oh, well, maybe I fucking am, right? Shit. Uh, the ballroom, where's the... Is it ballroom? Is it in there? Ballroom. It'd be nice if it was nice. It'd be good if it was all nice and simple. You know, people and things like that, but um, it isn't. So that's that. Alright, that's that. Hello there. Yes. You're a bit early for the show, but the manager most certainly shares your enthusiasm. Okay, okay. I hope we'll see you here later. All right. Will there be a wee... Hello. I thought you were the manager for a moment there. The show starts later. No doubt he's mentioned it to you. Oh, the he does so love a good illusion. Right, it's... Mm, sounds like the hotel manager is quite a fan. Emma Thompson, can you believe it? Has she got a title? Has Emma Thompson got a title? I asked yesterday, but I didn't, I didn't check the answer. Have a look around. Sounds like there's another room close to the stage. You might find what you need there. Is she? Dame? Here's a make note. Dame. So that's basically your knighthood, isn't it? That's your kind of female saw thing. Fucking reject it, man. Oh, look. Born in London to English actor Eric Thompson and Scottish actress Philida Law. There you go, so she's half Scottish. Wait a minute. 
Is Sophie Thompson? That's all, Master Chef. She won Master Chef, didn't she? Did she? Oh, she's a jerk. I mean, obviously, she, she's she's an actor and all the rest of it, but uh, did she win? Did she win? television? Oh, competed, beating Jodie Kidd, and but in the final, she she won, she won. So who are you? What have you been in? Born in Glasgow. Who? Who's she? Who's she? And do you know her? Scottish. Emma Thompson's mom. Right, place your bets. Looks familiar. Place your bets, Scottish accent, English accent. Glasgow born, let's see. Born in Glasgow. Uh, da, 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 da. Evacuated, oh, 1939. Evacuated from Glasgow uh, to Lindsay. Oh, no, 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 transferred to Ayrshire. Because the Nazis were bombing. Right, let's see. I'm saying English accent, especially um, because she's actory thespian. She'll she'll have that probably that rather accent. It's simpleton, and I don't think he was. I think he was a bit an outdated word that, but um, aye, aye. So she, no, no, no. And what's her name? Who's her that played? Um, you know, nothing, Jon Snow. She's Scottish, but she's got a pure English accent because she, she's for like um, kind of upper class, like Aberdeen Castle, Rose Leslie. Aye. And it was it was weird because she's in the... Um, what's its name? She's in the... Uh, very upper class. Inverness. She's in the, uh, what is it, the vigil. And I almost felt, maybe it's because of what I know about her, about her accent. I always felt she was doing a Scottish accent. Do you know what I mean? Huge ass, thanks for the sub. I don't know. I don't know. Like John Barman. Let, let me hear. I was ready to look for Lulu there. Let's just move on. Danny Gwynn, thanks for the sub. I'm. Right, I know I don't want to get us serious right now. John Barman's been accused of these things and he's admitted to them and all that, right? And he's trying to sort of, I think he's going on a, a kind of apology tour. He's going on a kind of apology. I'm going to play the game. He's going on a sort of apology sort of fucking tour. Was it on Lorraine? Was it on, I'm going to play the game. I, I really like the game in the ball. Um, he's doing that whole fucking thing. He's cocking fucking doing all that shit. Um, and he would joke about it. He would say it openly. Oh, I do this and I do that. My people laugh me. Um, and people aren't, no. And so he's kind uh, of cancelled now, isn't he? He's, it's over. And he, he was, I heard he was on Lorraine the other day. Kind of. He wasn't even apologising. He said it wasn't harassment, sexual harassment. Um, he. Uh, Apparently, I said, people I saw it on on Twitter. He was on Lorraine, um, Lorraine Kelly's thing, and 
people were, were tweeting, oh, what's this Scottish accent? What's this Scottish accent? I say he's decided to speak in a Scottish accent. I thought, is he, is he speaking in this in his Scottish accent because he's with Lorraine and always does that? Because she's Scottish, she's like, ah, right, fuck it, I may as well do that. Or is this his, he always, does he does, does he do it every time he's on Lorraine Kelly's thing? Does it with any anyone Scottish, any Scottish person? Oh, really? Right, because I thought he does it all the time when he's on her thing. I see. I thought it was maybe that he's kind of like, right, this is serious now. I'm trying to apologise or I'm trying to charm people. I'm going to come out of character. I had my American accent. I moved to America when I was about 12 or something. I had to speak this American accent because I was getting sort of picked on. But I can easily swap back. We're going to no day the, the, the American accent because I'm serious now. I thought it was that. But no, he's always like that. Um, anyway, right. I should really talk about things like that. It's a bit fucking serious for this type of stream. Getting some bizarre readings in your immediate area. That There must be something here. Is it this? Dear God, I don't believe that the Penrose Hotel has been shortlisted for public testing. There are oh, oh right, so this is a tech this this is the Penrose Hotel. Shortlisted for public testing. Because this is a thing. This isn't a real hotel. But my gamble on perfecting the familiar might just have paid off. I've got meetings with executives executives through next week. This might be it. The broad strokes of the design are final and implemented. Dozens of simulated guests with fantastical backstories and wonderful character. Perhaps my proudest achievement is the library. Taking advantage of the simulated nature, I can preload it with every book ever written and contain it within a grand but limited space. I've also worked with some of the folks in R&D to develop a modified AI agent to act as the manager. He'll adapt to the user's every need with less limitations than the other staff at same time. So it's a kind of I so this is a metaverse. This hotel got me and my friends through a uh, lockdown. I see. What the hell? This this is completely against protocol. Leaving this out in the open. Cycle destabilizes over time. Stability restored after decision. External stimuli, suspected cause of shortened cycle duration. Maintain cycle stability, prepare for cognitive recollection. Floor two access codes. Um, one is circled and it says 5382, just, just about here, behind me. Mr. Crow has returned. It says Mr. Crow has returned. Could that be me? 5382. There, 5382, that's Thank what I, we need. Get going quickly before someone sees you. Go elevator now. That's what I we need. I didn't realize your room was on this floor. Bye. Um five three eight two. She said I we need Amaha or what am I heart trapped in here am I talking to myself am I instructing me right here we go don't know oh sorry I'm I'm under a lot of pressure but this isn't about me. This is about justice. About getting you out of here and... Oh, shit. No, probably um, not. I, yes, well, I'm, not, I'm not sure the root cause. I'm, I'm pretty quick in the guy, too. No, 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 no. I can manage. Thanks. Damn Emma Thompson, everybody. Justice. This is about getting justice. Justice. Yeah, dude. Yeah. 
My favourite one is the default justice. Justice. <laughs> That's fucking drunk. I need to see that right now. Hold on, sorry. Justice. Right. I need to watch the lot of the day today. I, th I watched most of the episodes, but there's one or two I missed. Uh, shit, I came out here. Oh, fuck, what was that number? Is that something like 3482 or something? She'll tell me. She's been telling me everything else. Here we go. Now, if you remember... I hope you realise soon what's at stake here for both of us. 5382. Thank you. Good luck. Tiffany. Achievement unlocked. Tiffany. Justice. I think we're alone now. Here we go. Puzzle time. Authentication challenge, it's called. I thought it was moving forward there. Robzoid, none of that fucking part of for fuck's sake. That word. What is that? Gonna do an audit, please, and possible. Barry Boy, thanks for the sub. Oh, that was a. Oh, that's for the show. Oh, going to untime it, but going to say that discount. I know, I know you're sort of quoting, but you know, like I could quote certain programs that say certain things. Do you know what I mean? I just said some like, kind of bad, bad term. Please don't ask because he can't say. Nobody else can say. Nobody else can type her in it. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Aye, aye, that's good. Right, and then that's what I'm trying to get to, right? YFE, Barry Boy, thanks for the subs. Right, just a memory. Oh, Ocean View. Uh, medical practice. This is to, to confirm that Robin, patient's name, was examined by us on above day and may return to school on all work on January 9th under the following physical restrictions, if any. Right, so I think I've got a child who is ill or did. Uh, right. January, January, Robin. Um, no, no bothering way. Just a handwritten font. Okay. Mr. Bean's signature. I said one of yours. I'm not trying to steal anybody's part here. Right. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, I came in that way. Fucking hell. Right, so. In case you don't know the puzzles, see this, see the, the, the thing I've got down the bottom right there? It's white. See if I, that allows me to go through white things. Can I go through that though? In order to do that, I've got to kind of point at one, an orange one of these things and it will swap the color. It'll take the orange and make my thing orange, but then make that thing white, it swaps it. actually get up there. Can I? No. Uh, how's that music? I'm going to turn it down a bit. We don't need that that loud at all. It's a bit too theatrical. Right, so I can get in here and take that orange thing and make that orange and then get out of here. And then I'll just do trial and error. Go through here, do that. That'll be that. That turns out white. Right, so just just trial and error. Go here, do that. Uh, turn that white. 
get through that. But then that one, I would need that to be orange in order to get through that. So, just make sure that's orange. How? How are you going to do that? How are you going to do that? That's how you're going to do it. Oh shit. Um, oh fuck. Oh right, do it with the other one first. Right, so do that. Um, do that. And then do that. And that should do it. Bang. 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 There we go. This is the first puzzle of five. Right, so now I'm up here. I've got a green one. Right. And with that... I don't think I need back in here. But we'll see. Hold on. Just double checking. Can I? Can I? No, can I? What do I want a green one for? Oh, that gets me a both of them. Because both of these are... Right. Right. Green allows me to go through green stuff, nothing else. Therefore, I didn't go through the white or the orange bridges. That angry Asian, thanks to the sub. No well, man, academic decks. Thanks to the subs. Have a lovely afternoon yourself as well. Right, here we fucking go. Here we go. Also, right, so we're we'll getting a green one again. I come out of here and I'm wanting to get to where? Where would, where do I want to go? I can't get through there at all. Ever. Okay, okay. Right, well I need to go here. Ban that Pepe emote, please. That Pepe emote. Please mods, add it to the list of banned emotes. Why do you not like Pepe? Because I fucking don't. But why? Why this? Why that? Um. Right, so... So what fucking day something? Well... Shit, what way did that? Right, so I can do that. Be... Get an orange, green. Right, hold on a wee second here. I come through here. I can't get through there just now. Anything I can see there? No, but I will be coming through. So I want green to get through there to check that out. How do I get green? By if I can if I can make that green. So I will need. I go through that. Orange gets me through here. Oh fuck, well that's no... Oh, of course, of course. Oh no! Oh, we're already, aye, right. Um, have I done that right? Aye. Take that there, put that there. That gets me through here. Take that green. Uh, which gets me through here. And I'll have a look at this. Dear Robin. Uh, regarding Robin. This is for the school. I'm writing to advise you that Robin's school attendance is causing concern. It's, it's fallen to 62%. And as a result, we're becoming concerned that Robin is missing a significant part of learning. Regular attendance is extremely important. As missing school can have an impact on learning. I'm sure you're aware it's a legal requirement. Good attendance enables students to keep up with the work required. I'll continue to monitor Robin's attendance as I look forward to seeing an improvement. And I look forward to seeing an improvement. If possible, um, if it is medical, please ensure we have relevant doctor's notes and appointment details. Remember that in school? 
what was it called? A doctor's... It wasn't just a doctor's note. You can't... If you're going to take a day, a day off, you have to... A doctor's... Was it just a doctor's note? A sick line, I that. What's a fucking sick line? If there are any particular... A uh, sick line. I mean, sick line, bro, thank you. If there are any particular circumstances that the school may not be aware of, which is having an influence on Robin attending school regularly, please do not hesitate to contact me. However, it does no harm in speaking with the teacher attendance team because together we can make a difference. I've enclosed a copy of Robin's attendance record that shows an analysis of attendance, punctuality and whether the absence is authorised or unauthorised. Right. So my... Uh, that as well. The fuck is this? Charges. Tier 1 assessment, pharmacy, chemistry. Previous bill, tier 1. Welcome to America. $2,921, I'm assuming. Aye, it is. Welcome to America. What's that? You're ill. It's the least of your fucking problems. You'll fucking wish you were fucking dead when we hit you with this fucking bill. That danger locker, that counts as a frog. It's green. Quiet dog, thanks for three quid. The Daniel like his surprise keyboard. Oh, I yeah, the piano, digital piano. I real real liked it. Melrose dot thanks to sub. Right, so that's got me through here. I can't go through there. I can't go through that at all ever. I'll be able to get whatever colour that is. Uh, so it'd be good to make. Aye, so that needs to be white. White will get me through there. And then when I go through there, I'll need to be able to get orange for there in order to go through there. So in order, again, I need white. I need that to be white in order to get that for there. That needs to be white. That needs to be orange so that I can get through that one there. Right, all right, right. Name me the frog stuff. Thanks. I get it. I get it. RG Cut thinks a ton of bits. Can you tell us about your worst ever haircut experience? Kind of everyone's a, a bad experience these days. The most recent one. Mikey thinks for the sub. Just seen myself. Uh, hair by Lynn's very good to haircuts so. though. Right, right, come on, you're going around circles here. That's got to be white. And that's got to be orange, so go back through. And uh, that's got to be orange, so take that just now and come through here. That's got to be white. Uh, swap. Ah, you're fucked there. Change that to orange once you get through. So... That's got, to, that's got to be white, aye. That's got to be white. So take me that, uh, give me that. And... Uh, you can't get to that. You can't, if I, if I go through here. Can I, can I get, can I see around there? I can't. That's got to be orange. Maybe swap to orange before I go through. That's got to be orange. The fact that that's got to be orange means that's got to be orange. That's got to be orange there. So, right, right, here's the order of events. Swap that for that, make that one green, right, and then that one there, and then make that orange there. And then you get through with the white there. And then... 
Um, swap that white with the green. Is that still white? That's white. And swap that... Uh, aye. Right. Take... I take that white and swap that green with there. So that's orange. That then becomes green. That's orange. Yeah, you did that. You come through. Right, I've got it. Swap that. Get that. Turn that white. Comes through here. That's orange. Then you're through here. Right. Railbags, thanks for the sub. I did it. I did it, everybody. What was that? Two of what? Look how many fucking many there is there. Pictures. Pictures. I don't really think that would have motion blur that much there. Unless she was like, st I don't think she would stone up or fall down at that speed. They're obviously blurring it to make it a bit, you can't quite see. Right, where have I to go? That's the main thing. Where have I to go? There. I need green, orange, green. That's all I need. Green, orange, green. That's all. It's that easy. This is this is going to be uh, this is going to be like fucking portal, and no portal. Uh, Mere like not so much portal as a uh, Talos principle. And he's like that. You played that. That's it. I like that game. Don't remember the cubes. Ball to skew, thanks for sub. Big shout out to your Auntie Grace, who's 85, you're daft, but she's much dafter than you. Hello, Auntie Grace, I hope you know a bar of chocolate. Or a far right code word. Right, what would you like to happen? Let's do it with trial and error. You'll get the green for there. In fact, go through there. Right, you're going to have to do a bit of swap, and you're going to have to do a bit of that that's faces, some, something here faces there, and that one faces there. You'll work it out as you go along. Right, I need green to go in there. Right. And how are you going to do that? Is that... Can I get to that for there? Right, let me just have a look about... Wouldn't last two minutes in the witness. I did last two minutes, but I did end up cheating. Eventually. Right. This is gonna be this is gonna take about a turn and throw in. Strange vibes in here this morning, says Dot. It's always a wee bit strange in here, it's never quite you can never quite predict it. Right, you you go there, and you go there. That gets me out. There's that there, and there's that there. That green will get me through there. That needs to be orange. Wait, can I... How, how's that? That'll get me up there, and then I need to come around. Right, so that, that green will get me through there. Then I need that to be orange. So, I will do that by taking that, taking that, and then taking that. That'll be green. And then I need to be able to... T oh! I need to get that done for. I need to get these in order first. And what about this one up here? Oh, shit. And what? This is that's a big one. No, this is red. This is orange. It's not, it's not red. That needs... In order to get through that... Fairly sure that needs to be... Orange. That'll get me through there, but then that needs to be green. And what is going to provide me... For green? Or actually, do I need something to get me through... 
Is there a bit up here that I need to get through? No, I can't get through. Can't get through. But this will change the colour for that. And that's when I'm going to get the green. So that needs to go... That kind of needs to go last. But I think we need to do that bit first. Need to make that orange and then we can do sort of the green, possibly. So, what I could do is take that green and stick that up there. But then I won't get through that until... When... The white... I go through the green to make that... Right. So, take that green... To get... Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. What, what is seeing that? What... How am I... How... How can I... Oh! I can't get up there, can I? No. How would I... Ah! Forgot. There's this. This might be easy. This might be easier. Than I think. It won't be. It'll be hard as fuck. I just dropped in. Can I drop down? No, that's purely for getting the colour. Right. Name thanks to three quid. I played Detroit Become Human all the way to the end. And it was alright. This game is unbackseatable by virtue of being nonsensical. Not nonsen not nonsensical at all. Simple as this. We need our wee thing to be green to get us through that but once we're on the other side we need it to be orange to get through that but we will have our devices green where do we get the orange for to swap it must be that must are you sure yeah right orange and the orange will take you through there. And then the next one must be green in order to get through that. So that must be orange. And the next one must be green. All right. Okay. That must be orange. Next one must be green. So perhaps... Orange. Maybe, maybe try that. Maybe try that. Maybe just try it. Just see what happens. Just see what happens. Just do it. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Just do it. Yes, you might have to come back. Pick that up. There's your orange. Right. First one needs to be green. Oh shit, I did that there. Oh, that's, that's that's right. That's right. Um, but no, you. Wait a minute. How are you gonna? Oh, oh. Right. So I'm gonna take that. What the fuck are you then? Yeah, take. Take the green and go up here and then across there, make that green. Right? That gives you the white. You go in. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. You come up here. You aim out there. You make that green. That makes that white. And then you're going to come through here. You're going to take that green, and you're going to make that one green. That makes that white, so now you can get back. And then you can... Hopefully, got maybe got green here. Aye. Make that green there. Bring that back to white. Come through here. Take that. Take that. Take that. Yes, there we go. We did it. We did it. I did it. But did it. 
A genius. It gets hard though. Okay, okay. Where is the door? Let's start from the end. It's quite dark. This is quite a journey. I shouldn't have to travel this far. Oh fuck. <gasps> right? Oh shit, this is fucking huge. Wait, wait, wait. Is that a... Right. Wait a minute. This is huge. Is it? So I started? Let's start, right. Come run. Uh, where, where have I end? And the... Take a, take a left. Did I take a left before? Oh. Is this fucked? Let me just see something. I know this may be a wee bit irritating that I've came back to the same bit, but I just want to see. Right, so do that. Um, come out. Go that way. There's nothing there. Is it always... No, no, no. Right, so what's to the right? Right. Oh, I see. So, what is that? Are they like stairs? Is that going up? Is it? What? Is this going up? That's done. The that fuck is magic. Is it magic? Right. I see. I see. Right. Because nothing. That's not happened before. That uh, it's a magic corridor. All right, okie dokie. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. I'm assuming. Right. All right, let's see what I want. Let me just get a wee bit familiar. There's a white, an orange, a green. A wee bit there where I can get that there on this side. So I'll need white to get through it. I'll need to swap it with some sort of color there. Um, possibly green, I'll be wanting. It's a basic non-Euclidean there. I have, to get, I have to get done there. Green will take me through there, which I can get. But I won't go there just yet. I'm going to go this way. So let's say I've got the green or the orange. Or the way, orange will get me down to there. Is that a block then? Can I colour that for the other side? It must be. And then that will get me down there. And I take it. Fuck off, man. Right, I'm going to get the green one and see what happens. Come through here. Right, let's see what happens here. Don't fuck it up. Right, now you can get through here. And what's it like? Right, you can see that. So you'll be able to swap these if you need to. And you got two of them. Right. Okie dokie. Can you remember the order? Can you remember the order? I can't, eh? I see. 
It smells red and green, isn't it? We'll, we'll, we'll call it red then. Red, green, red, white. So red to go through. It needs to be green, red, white. It needs to be green, red, white. Green, then red, then white. Green for go, red for stop, and white. Just because it's white. You sort of like, like a uh, kind of white flag or something. You sort of gee up. Because you don't get it. You gee up. Like, you've got, like, go. And then I've stopped. Why did you stop? Because I gee up. Waving the white flag. That's how I remember. Chad, thank you very much for gifting me five subs. Thanks for tuning bits. You're a mad lad. Your streams have pushed me through more than I thought I could handle. Oh, glad to fucking hear it. That's something, that's something I'm trying to do. I'm trying to take, take, take it to the limits of your comedy. Right, so it needs to be uh, green, red, and white. Green, red, then white. That's what they need to be. It's quite simple. Green, red, white. Do you think you can do that? Do you think you can do that? Will this work? And I've got white on me. Which takes me through the first one. That fucking does. You need the fucking red one, you dafty. You need the red one just to get started. In fact, wait a second. Wait a second. Uh, is there any... Any wee... No. Right, so you need the red one. You need the red one. So you need to get through there and then somehow be able to swap to red. Well... Oh, well, there you go. There you go, what? If I get the red, which that then that becomes white. If I swap this, if I get the red, this becomes red, that then becomes white. I then drop down, swap the green with the white. No, 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 right, that's right. Let's say you went up right now. Let's say let's say you pick that right now, right? You go up, you drop down the red. You get the green there. Swap the green. You gotta have a better terminology so you can speak about this fucking clearly, right? You're gonna drop down the red with the red you've got. And it's gonna be green. You're going to Take the green, which will drop you down. You'll leave behind the red. You'll leave behind the red. And it's even you dropped into here. And you're in need of the red. You're fucked. Because you can't shoot through the thing. So... Let's see, did it? Did did did? Let's see, did that? That needs to be. I mean, you need fucking, you need red to get through. Go up, idiot. Go up, clown. Go and have a look. Get up there. No. So red. I dropped in. It's a currently red. I need this to be red. Red, I dropped in. Through this, I will drop in. I then swap the red for the green. I become green. I drop down 
but the red that I swapped away is then there. And not here. Right, so that's just simple and not going to work. Don't even need to think about it. So let's say it was you had red, and the red is at the bottom. And let's say that's that's uh, red there, right? Is that is that right? No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. There is another red there, remember? There is another red. There's another red. There were two reds there. Well, two reds. So go through. What's that again? Aye, right, so. Okay, okay. I want that to be. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So give me that. And. Um... Oh, shit! Swap it. No, no. I right, swap. Right, you've got to make that, uh, like, swap for that there, and put that there, and then, give me that orange, uh, the red, the excess red, get yourself out of there, uh, and then swap that back, there we go, that looks like that's it. Green, red, white. I'll do this one and I've got to go. Drop down. Yep, got green. Uh, become green. Drop down. Uh, become red. Drop down. And then white. Drop. That's it. That's it. That's it. There we fucking go. Quite a lot of these. He's only going to bloody done it. He's only going to bloody done it. I'll just have a wee glance. What are you? What are you then? Blam. Oh, for fuck's sake, would you look at it? Would you look at it? Right, I'll do that tomorrow. Would you look at it? A free, oh, a free blam. I just need you to be green. I need you. Quite simply. To be green. That's all I need to work out. How? I mean, no, that is green. I mean, I just quite simply. Need to make myself green. To go through that. So therefore, that must be green. Working our way back, I need to figure out a way to make that green. Once I make that green, and I am uh, white, I go through, that's it. That's all I need to do. It's quite simple. Don't overthink it. It's very simple, and I will work it out in the morning. Very simple. Very beginner stuff. Nothing for the likes of me. Like and Sanctum, thanks for the... the uh, oh, no, thanks for the sub. Thanks for the comment. Lemme, how does it feel to have gone from network TV to new media? Which do you prefer? <laughs> Fucking God knows absolutely fuck all about me, man. Do you know who I am? From network TV, first of all, wasn't the network anyway? From network TV to new media, new master of fucking flash. That's where I started. The master of flash, and from that I went to the telly. See, that's why a lot of these youngsters know have, have got a lot of respect for me, because they don't know me. To know me is to love me. 
and to love me is to do let's let's hear it from data. Data, uh, there was a very, what's this? Picard. So he's looking a bit fucking old. Saying goodbye to Data, right? So Data fucking dies. Right. Um, as if anybody gives a fuck, do you know what I mean? I had that Picard shite. He was. I can't remember why I was talking about, I was talking about me. Life Bloom, Funky Fresh, Rona. Thank you very much for the subs. Oh, aye, Flash Masters. Um, I prefer, I prefer this. I prefer this. I prefer doing this. Then this. This is the new media. It was called new media back in about 1999. Is he joking? Have I been did that? Have I been exed? Have I been exed? Macromedia, that's right, that's what it was called. The company was called Macromedia for its bought air by Adobe. Hey, up here. That's right. Here, you've been asked. That guy down there, that's me. Jimmy Kennedy. And you're all on my hidden camera show, The Jamie Kennedy Experience, which is on the, the, uh, what is that again? The WB, give me this. What? Can't even be about a paper it. Yeah, the cue cards it. You've been exed. You're on my new hidden camera show called the Jamie Kennedy Experience. I'm Jamie Kennedy. It's on the WB. I've got these mixed up. Amazing comedy there. Physical comedy. See that? The cards. That was kind of physical comedy, wasn't it? Please stop saying chameleon. I spelt I spelt chameleon fucking right. Um, oh wait a minute. See before I go, what would there be quiz? I got time for one quiz. Everybody, thank you very much for the subs, the resubs, the bits and the tips. Thank you for a lovely day of quizzes and fun and lots of diversions. I don't know how much of that game we got done. Pretty much fuck all. Um, that's for the morrow. Oh, it's Five Flutter Friday tomorrow. Is it? Aye. Um, uh, mods, thank you very much for the modding. I'll be back on the morrow, 9.30am, but I'm going to try and come on again tonight. Working overtime, day and night, to provide you with first class, top flight entertainment that you deserve for your subs, your resubs, your tips and bits, and eat all your coffee donations. And even if you don't, if you can't afford it, you don't even want to part with your money, don't worry about it. I'm such a nice guy, I'll be here anyway to provide you with the entertainment, with the entertainment. Uh, by the way, make sure you, you stick on your notifications, your notifications so that you never miss a stream. Thank you very much. I'm going to send you there um, somebody that I've not raided before because I'm trying to raid a new person after every stream. I'll try and be on the night. If no, I will definitely be on tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.